<clears throat> All right. Well, hello everybody. His Royal Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be playing Minecraft. Wait, no, 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 no. Um, we're gonna be playing the box tank. Well, I mean the WZ113GFT. It has many nicknames because it's just a giant box, but. That's going to be the topic of today's video, which is, in my humble opinion, one of the best tank destroyers in tier 10 that we have right now. Uh, I will reiterate, that is just an opinion, okay? Let's take over the grain of salt. This is my perspective on the WZ. But it also happens to be, disregarding the collector tank destroyers, the least played tank destroyer in the last 30 days in tier 10. So it's heavily slept upon. I don't know why. The tank's great. And yet, people are choosing to play a Fosh over two times more frequently than this vehicle. I want to see that change. This tank needs to get the respect it deserves as a very versatile and strong tank destroyer. So that is what we're going to do. Hopefully. Unless I absolutely suck today, in which case I'll make the tank look terrible. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyways, hello to everybody in chat. Good to have you here as always. We got Mario, Desm, Lewis, Plague, Post Game, Bob, Jared, Chris, Ant-Man, uh, we tag, uh, Sunstorm Gaming, good to see you here as always. Hold on, Hero, MD99. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Great to have you here as always. And look at that. I got, I got two streams out in the last few days. Actually, on top of things for once. Nice to be uh, not sick for, <laughs> for a change. Uh, ayo, ayo. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Welcome to the stream, everyone. Please just smash the like button. It does support the channel and is very much appreciated. All right. So, let's, let's talk WZ briefly. What makes this tank good? Basically everything, in my opinion, with, with one caveat. But, uh... Armor profile on this tank is fantastic. It did get buffed in update 10.3. And I would argue that it's competitive to the level of almost being on a Jagdpanzer E100's frontal armor profile in terms of the superstructure. Lower plate's weak, but that um, upper lower plate portion of the hull uh, and the superstructure is very, very strong. I would recommend running enhanced armor. That 4% increase to your frontal armor thickness can actually make a bit of a difference for certain uh, premium rounds not pinning you as reliably. And so it has a very, very thick frontal armor. This is not the type of tank you would angle. As you can see, there are side strips that are already angled on the front. The moment you angle those, those are becoming weak spots. So if you want to wiggle while you're YOLOing someone, I totally get it to try and bait a shot into a drive wheel or something. But, you know, don't, don't try and angle in this tank. It, it really is just a frontal yeet vehicle you just send it okay but fantastic overall frontal armor with the exception of tank destroyer premium rounds and some heavy tank premium rounds your 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 upper superstructure is fairly invincible to most vehicles you're going to be facing and that's really really nice especially standard rounds i don't know if there really is a standard round in the game that can pen the superstructure maybe a hori but then again hori is premium ap so um yeah they just butter you anyways so Fantastic armor. What about the mobility? Mobility actually also got better in update 10.3. And I, this thing got the juiced buffs in update 10.3, okay? So in terms of mobility, the vehicle goes 42 forward, 16 in reverse. That 42 top speed, it very comfortably can reach it as it has good power to weight ratio, at least for a tank destroyer, good terrain crossing capacity from as far as I'm aware. It's very fast and it also has very great traverse speed with a 46.4 degree traverse speed on the hull. So it gets around fast and it's actually surprisingly hard to circle unless you're in a very fast light tank or you manage to track the vehicle. But for the most part, this tank is very mobile considering its armor profile, right? And so that combination already makes it a very deadly kind of aggressive tank destroyer. And then we have to factor in the gun, which also got up better in update 10.3. 640 alpha damage. Back in the olden days, this was the classic 155 millimeter tank destroyer alpha damage. Now, the WZ-113 GFT is the only tank in tier 10 right now, or tank destroyer in tier 10 right now, that still has that 640 alpha. Everything's been either decreased or, or increased. It's kind of crazy. Back in the day, I mean, you know, so many of the vehicles had the same type of alpha. It was just like, oh yeah, 640 TD. This is the last one. It's the last one with that classic tank destroyer gun. 
3,000 damage per minute if you're running Rammer. Penetration numbers are fantastic. You have 365 base heat pen, okay? 365 base heat pen, you really don't need to run calibrated unless you are absolutely insane and you want 400 millimeters of heat pen. But I'm gonna be honest, 90% of the scenarios, you're gonna be fine with 365 heat. So I take Rammer for that extra DPM. Um, but yeah, great, great DPM, great alpha damage. It also has pretty good gun handling. Like, it got a lot better in Update 7.3, in my opinion, with how Wargaming rebalanced its gun. It actually works quite well, and it's fairly snappy. It's not the best sniper, per se, but remember, this is a heavily armored mobile TD, so you're going to be moving around a lot, probably playing it more aggressive, and the accuracy is more than sufficient for that type of gameplay. Kind of the one drawback of this tank, then, would be its gun depression of 6 degrees. Yeah, 6 degrees gun depression kind of blows, but... You know, once again, it's it's not worse than a Fosh, and this tank has way better armor than a Fosh, and arguably better mobility. So I I would just say straight up, yeah, it, it's a really really strong tank all round. It just has great great statistics, and that allows it to be quite a fun aggressive tank destroyer. Now you could argue that tanks like the T1 to E3, or even the Minotaur, are better than this tank, and I would agree in many ways they are. But in terms of just uh, and a collective bunch of abilities this vehicle has in my opinion the most balanced uh set of characteristics by the way it's axis welcome to the royalty squad thank you so much for becoming a channel member really do appreciate it have fun using those emotes i do not mute people for spamming the channel emotes so well maybe maybe within reason but uh yeah enjoy uh it's access also with the 75 um what, what is nt dollars <laughs> but my brain is lagging uh Regardless, thank you very much for the donation. Do appreciate it. I'm pretty sure most Chinese TRXs have six hundred gun depression besides the WZ-132-1, which I think has five, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, for the most part, when it comes to the WZ's gameplay, and right away, we just we can just like kind of admire the mobility of this tank, right? We are already going 35 kilometers an hour, and in a moment, okay, well, never mind. D5 just ruined all of my acceleration. How dare you? Uh, we will still reach that 42 km an hour top speed very quickly here. And remember, this tank has, in my in my opinion, a fairly similar armor profile to a Yag, but just look at us overtaking this Yag. Yeah, yeah, look, look, look at your slow Jaegeru. You even had a head start. How's it feel, man? Anyways, let's pull up a little bit here. So enemy's Fosh has moved up fairly aggressively. Now, with 365 heat pen, this Fosh won't be able to do too much to me. Tried to snap a shot in there. We did hit, and you can see the gun handling is working out quite well in our favor here. So we're going to pull back from this Fosh here. The Fosh is just kind of yoloing up a little bit aggressively. Let's track him for a Jaegeru. So a Jaegeru might be able to hit him here. There we go. Get that clear Jaegeru. I believe in you, buddy. Um, questionable play by Mr. Jagdpanzer here. Going for the uh, HG on the Fosh. But I'm going to put a shell into the Fosh here. And uh, we're going to back up a bit so we can start cross-firing out Mr. Concept 1B. You can also get hauled down here. And unless I'm mistaken, he is going to struggle to find an angle to pen us, right? Yeah, he's he, he's not going to pen us. 713 damage into him. It's just nice to be able to sit confidently in front of these heavy tanks and be like, yes, sir, you cannot pen me. The Agru is on the flank. He's in Narnia. Let's get ready to start counter pushing maybe whatever tank was over on ACAP. The 57 Heavy, I think is what it was. So let's get ready to start griefing the 57 Heavy. All right, there was a 268 over here. That's good to know. Uh, 57 heavy, can't quite HGM. We will put a quick shell into him Ugh, and a ram. And let's back up a little bit in case that 268 has a shot for me. Um, oh wow, that 268 really did move up quite aggressively. Wasn't expecting him to be quite there, but uh, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We can pull up below this 268 now and hopefully put ourselves in a position to start griefing him. So we got a nice shell into him here. Now, obviously, a 268 looking down on my tank is going to have no problem penning me. Uh, but I should have the cover of this Karo shortly here afterwards, and we should be able to out-reload this 268 by a fairly long shot. All right, 268, we get a nice shell to him here. Let's pull down a little bit, and our Yag's reaction time was Omega delayed. Come on, Yag. I thought you... <laughs> Yag really, really took his time aiming that shell in. We might... I think we'll win this. <clears throat> Maybe I should have got myself killed there. I was banking on the Jagdpanzer, who was right behind me, to kill that 268 if he poked out on me. But uh, he's, his reaction time wasn't quite it. So 
we, we should win though. I think we, we, we're gonna have double caps. Gonna be a little bit of a delight. Let's talk about the tank. So, hello <laughs> Jack, hello. Uh, yeah, well, that's what you get when you play a little too aggressive and hope that your teammates can hit their shots fast enough. That was that was more my fault than his, right? He was just taking his time aiming in. And I did give the, the 268 an easy pen. In retrospect, maybe I should have angled my hole up towards this ridge here. Then the superstructure would have been a lot harder to pen. So just a little misangling on my part and a little too much trust in the allies, but as far as Cap's concerned, we should win this. So I'm gonna read the chat while I wait for this game to end. Isn't the member cheaper than before? I think it was like 100 NT before, now it's 45. Um, I actually have no clue, <laughs> but thank you for being a member all the same. Uh, I think it's like it's, it's it's like a dollar to become a member. I think of the channel. It's it's it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, at least uh, U.S. dollars. Um, first he blocks. I think the M M5 yo next he friendly fires a teammate, and now we wait for the next installation in this fantastic saga. Wait, wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> Imagine the Yago with uh, that maneuvering. Indeed. Do you prefer this or the two six eight? It actually oh. We got Bobby here. Here, you know what? Well, we're for this game to finish. Let's let's show you some bobbers. Um, it actually depends a lot on my mood. If I want something that's just gonna be fairly reliable and and versatile, I actually would choose the WZTD. Um, but when it comes to if I just want something with a super punchy gun and great mobility, then I'm just gonna go for the 268. The thing about the 268 is its armor profile really isn't all that great anymore, and we should win this in a moment once the Kiro picks up this kill. Right, Kiro, you got this, buddy? Buddy, there you go. Now it's a GG. Um, so yeah, it, I guess for me, the 268 and WZ, they play differently, so it depends a lot on my mood. We need Bobby Street. Yes, Bobby's gonna go lie down on my lap for the next hour. Uh, we did 3,500 damage there, by the way. I know it didn't quite feel like it, but, I mean, that's just how easily this thing farms up damage. And I didn't even play that all that intelligently, right? You know, I just kind of went to B-cap. I, I kind of YOLO'd, got myself killed by the 268. To be fair, I thought the 268 was further back, so when I was putting a shot... <laughs> Bobby, what are you doing to my camera? What are you doing to my camera? Oh my... Oh my... Bobby. Bobby, I'm ruining my camera. You gotta stop it. The troubles of trying to stream with a cat that is very curious about the camera whenever it's on. I don't know. She must detect the waves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, let's, um, let's see. All right, double Leos, one, two, one. They got two tank destroyers, E4 and Yeageru. Also, E4 is another fantastic tier 10 TD, man. After we're getting shrunk the E4's hatch, sheesh. Thanks, great. Hey, Bobby, you just, like, entertain the stream. But yeah, I mean, look how fast WZ is. I think that's one thing that always throws me off about this tank, right? It has a lot of armor, and yet it is pretty nifty. It is pretty, pretty fast. We also were spotted by that Leo pretty early on, so let's take it nice and easy here. Without exposing my lower plate, I do want to see if I can maybe spot up this a little bit. Um, but they've already capped B. I personally don't think there's a super high chance their team's going to be here. And we are going to lose that medium flank, I think, pretty quickly. Which has been unfortunate, because uh, that medium flank can be very painful if um, your allies go that way and they just get themselves dunked on. This Yeageru... Okay, this Yeageru should give me a shot here in a moment. We'll be ready to pull back at a moment's notice. I'm not going to overextend just yet. Don't want to pull myself in the crossfire, and I think he's going to pull forward, right? Huh? What? Oh. Well, yeah, of course the Yag's Heat's going to go through me. Um... Okay, nice, absolutely stellar map design there, Wargaming. Wow. How I did not spot that dude from point blank is astounding to me, personally. I'm going to pull back a little bit. The Leo and E4 could start trying, trying to pressure me here in a moment's time. Really don't want to have to uh, get myself griefed by a Leo and a T124. Although, this Leo might give me a nice HE shot here, so let's go for the 977 HE. As you can see, with this tank's mobility, this dude's not able to out-traverse me. I'm gonna pull all the way down here and hopefully not get hit by this T124. Let's see if we can try and avoid him, but we're definitely gonna take a shot from him. So, unfortunately, the E4 does hit me, and same with that Leo one getting some shots to me. But really, what screwed me over was the Yag, who I thought for sure I'd be able to keep um, out of this fight here, but... Um, Hey, I guess my, my luck was just not on my side here. Let's try and give this E4 a hard to pen shot. We're going to angle our hull up here a little bit. Put a track shot into him. We're going to gun block him as much as we can. The 57's coming in, though. And, well, that that's basically... This is one of those games that can't be helped. It's when your a few of your allies decide to yellow med side. I, I really don't know how long it's going to take these players to learn that yellowing med side is just a terrible idea on this map for the most part. It's really hard to play out of that position. Um, still, 
Come on, Wargaming. Your, your, your bush mechanics make no sense. How is that Yagna spotted? By the way, he fired and by time like by time he was spotted already pulling back after shooting, like his full frontal hull was still visible to me in his lower plate. There's no way I should not have been able to spot that man there. Aye, aye, aye. Not the best game, but oh well, I'm not going to complain too much about it. Um, the team wasn't fantastic, to be fair. And um, yeah, this dude's definitely dead to the Leo with its with its Chad DPM. Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, TBP and Batshot just YOLO'd so aggressively on that side, got themselves killed. We had a 183 in spawn. <clears throat> would you prefer WZ over Hori? 100%. I, I personally would not, not a huge fan of what Wargaming did to the Hori. Or E5 did fine. You know, it's, it's the mediums. The mediums got themselves killed right off the bat. Y you really... Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I don't care. Um, <laughs> it really was just one of those wacky scenarios. Look, guys, it's Bobby. I know, and now I can finally realign my camera. <laughs> mm. Uh, Fanis resembles me a lot to the Russian what be YouTuber Ufpinja from Semistar Clan. Both that have a similar style. Oh, well, uh, I think Ufpinja is better than me. <laughs> He's definitely better than me. Uh, we play on different servers though, so cross server comparisons can be a bit hard. All right, how does man get out, out, out spotted by a Yag? I, that's what I'm trying to figure out, man. I, I was pre-aiming that bush, waiting for the Yag to poke through. All right, I'm like, I got this. I got this. Um, and then the Yag just shoots me with heat and doesn't get spotted. I'm like, huh? Hi, <laughs> friend Shack. Hello, hello. I watched today your Amex ODB stream. Old, ah. I've done, I've streamed the Amex ODB quite a few times. My gosh, do I have same control mode on? Yes. I'm gonna turn it off for the sake of queue time because you can see mobile queues on NA take uh, a very long time. So let's 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 turn it off for uh, for hopefully a shorter queue time, so we're not just sitting here as long. Um, Hori was my favorite TD until it's m mobility nerf. Now it's not much fun anymore. I I agree. Same thing. I love the Hori for a lot of the reasons why I like the WZ TD now. Right? It had a troll armor, but it really did have great mobility and a great gun, and so that allowed it to be very efficient in a lot of regards. Now the Hori, it's still decent. Its gun is, its gun got pretty hardcore nerfed, in my opinion. It does not feel all that great anymore. Um, naturally, you do have premium AP still, but in terms of its gun handling, yeah. And uh, the mobility nerf is what really killed the tank for me. I was not happy with that because the tank just feels so sluggish in comparison. So I've resorted to playing the WZTD instead. And let's try and actually get a good game for once, my goodness. Um, I don't want to look, I don't want to look like a complete noob. Okay, we have an enemy WZTD. I'm going to go cap this base for the time being. It is a bit risky because I'm not going to have anyone to spot the sides up for me. I'm just going to keep kind of wiggling around here a little bit in case someone does go for a blind shot on me, which thankfully they have not. And let's see if we can put ourselves in a position to maybe deal with this Conqueror. So, if not the Conqueror, then maybe this E6. Just pre him here for the, for the time being. All right, so what is my team doing? There's a Minerato approaching from the right side here. Wonder if he's gonna give me a shot. Oh, he's dropping down into the river. Oh, wait, 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 he actually might give me a shot. So you can see the aim time on this tank, very stellar. Let's put a quick shell into this WZ. I'm gonna keep playing passively and go figure. They also have a Hori sitting back in the back corner over there. That's good to know. Now we know the Hori WZ is positioning. Our team is actually gonna be creating a pretty decent flank here on their, on their vehicles. Um, I might still be spotted from the Conqueror here. I just don't want to overextend. Okay, there's the 260. Let's see if we can put a quick shot into this 260 on the crossing here. Uh, I wasn't quite fast enough. I wasn't positioned properly there, so that's my fault. Hmm. Guess we're gonna... I guess we just keep playing passively here, because the whole re's positioning. Hopefully this 260 backs up or something. Um, he is getting clipped by Bachaltion, though. Let's see. Well, that's one of their heavies out. Alright, this one is about to be in a wall to hurt. Oh, just a millimeter more, buddy. Okay. I see, I see how it is, dude. I see how it is. He, he doesn't want to back up a millimeter. Go, okay, oh, 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 now he does. Now he does. All right, let's aim fully in for his side here. There we go, 700. Oh, and we hit the fuel tanks. Huge, huge, yes. Give me that damages, my dude. All right. Let's see, WZTD still up there. This dude probably is not going to pull back after losing like three quarters of his HP. But let's put a blind shot in just in case. I don't think that pen, it probably just hit the outside of his drive wheel. So I'm not going to rely on it too much. There's a Hori as well. Okay. So we have the whole Reese position too. Do you think he's gonna back up? Let's see. Do we trust in the gun? Maybe the gun will be my ally here. All right. I think we're good to start counter pushing now. Let's go, boys. Let's let's go for that insane little counter, the counter shove. 
Alright, is this WZ gonna pull forward at all? Oh, we might have hit the Horry, I can't tell. It's GG. Well, sat in a bush. We actually had the worst spawn for this map, but thankfully my team played really, really well throughout the town. That gave us enough time to um, put ourselves in a decent position here to win. So let's put another shell into this dude here. And I think at this point, it's just GG. Yeah, we're, we're gonna cap out in five seconds. I'm not gonna get any more damage out. Maybe I shouldn't have killed the Leo there. Uh, no! <laughs> My damage! All right, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. <clears throat> 3,300 damage dealt. Okay, let's go. So, real qu real talk, real talk. Do we hit the blind shots? 611 on the whole really blind shot dealt. 1,700 on this Object 260 blind shot dealt. So, hey, yo, know what? Not a ton of damage, but at least we hit both of our blind shots. I think that's a W. It's more, it, it's got more armor and became the, the goofy TD. Wait, which one? <laughs> the Hori? Uh, the Hori's armor profile really doesn't make a huge difference. I, I, they outright buffed it and you know, against low pen rounds, you're not going to get as, as penned as often through the superstructure, but it's still butter to heat rounds or most premium rounds you're going to face against in the Hori are still going to butter through that superstructure because it's, it's, very flat. It doesn't have any ingling, so even though they buffed it like a lot, it really is not gonna make a huge difference in the long run because of the lack of angling on the whole re. Whereas WZ, getting an armor buff does make a huge difference because this tank, as you can see, while not the steepest angle, it does have angling, and so, um, yes, armor goes burr. I'm gonna be pretty aggressive here to see if I can get for, go for some early resets on C. They do have someone pushing through the C cap already, so I'm not really sure who that was. I, I'm pretty sure I just saw someone get off the C cap. There we go. We got this man's here with angle, and we're gonna pull back around this corner, just like so. And this is where the fun begins in this vehicle. We are haul down. We are in a decent position here to deal some damage. Put another shot into this man's here. Uh, the only thing that I'm... Okay, of course they have a Jaeger just sitting there. The only thing I'm concerned about is the lack of my allies being with me at the moment, but... Let's see, maybe, maybe this 4005 will give me a shot here. There we go. HG into him as well. APCR, he actually might have hit my hatch there, which is kind of crazy because this tank has a super, super small hatch. All right, Jaeger is just fired as well. So let's use this tank's spiffy mobility to get around this corner and put a shell into this dude as well. We'll pull back around that corner now. We've already dealt just under 3,000 damage, right? DPM, alpha, crazy combo on most vehicles if you can pull it off and position your tank well. Uh, HE for the Sheridan, maybe? Ah, I was hoping to hit his lower plate there. Sheridan bouncing a shell off of me, though, so that's good to know. I'm glad I didn't overextend there. Would have taken a shot from him. And it is two something. I have a feeling... I should have shot AP at him, man, because then I could have, like, basically two-tapped in there. But let's see if we can do anything about this man. Oh, oh, dang. Am I, am I getting, am I getting pressured from behind here? Hopefully not. It looks like I am, to some extent. Okay. Jaeger just fired, so you know what? We're going to do our best to kill Mr. 57 Heavy here. Put a quick kill shot into this 57. Let's make sure we're nice and safe for the time being. Alright, we are still on reload. I'm probably not going to survive this, guys. <clears throat> but I'm going to help our team with this Jaeger, because this Jaeger is going to be a huge problem for my allies. Alright, alright. Yeah, we are not surviving that. So, our full HP Yag has just been in Narnia this whole time, apparently. Our bat shots busy getting himself killed for absolutely no reason. Oh my gosh, Batchat. Batchat, you, you, you can't be doing this, man. I thought we were gonna win this game. Hey, yo, what am I... Oh my goodness, what am I watching? Oh dear, the guys, this is not looking good. Um, I... What happened to my whole team that was behind me? Oh, they all YOLO down low for the 4005, I see. Yeah, just, just, just shoot heat. What are you, what are you... Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. He needs to cap B or he's gonna lose this. Yeah, you need to pull forward to cap B. Uh, he only has one shell left or two. Oh, rip. It's, it's Jover, guys. It's so Jover. I, I have zero faith in this Yeager's abilities. He's, the Sheridan's gonna pop up from his left and just yeet him out of existence, basically, at this point. Back up straight. Back up straight. Don't, 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 don't turn. Don't turn. Don't turn. The Sheridan's gonna be on your left, my dude. Just keep a straight angle here so you can peek left or right. Cap the base. No. Ah! It's so painful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice full HP Yag, by the way. Uh, so my allies were um doing terrible things. Um two shot two and five B. Uh Patchat did second to bottom damage. Jaeger 
didn't even break 2k oh my goodness oh well played to their yo their yo had a good farm fest <laughs> Bro, Memento. I know, right? The Sheridan got spot. Well, the Sheridan was spotted crossing to the left. So in that scenario, you're gonna you're gonna center your tank on the cap so you could instantly swivel left or right to pick up a clear when they poke when either of them poke on you, right? And then you can pretty easily win that scenario. Um, but buddy, he just wasn't paying attention. It's little stuff like that that makes the difference between a player that wins forty percent and fifty percent. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do here. Do we go left? Nah, 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 we're not gonna go left. We're actually gonna go factory. One thing I have to always kind of keep in consideration when I am playing this tank is its lack of gun depression. And so the left side is a very gun depression oriented map. So I'm gonna actually take the right route. And uh, goodness, we are just speeding along. I, I do really like this tank's mobility. It feels so good. It reaches that top speed and you you'll even overtake a lot of heavy tanks, which is quite pleasant indeed. Um, enemy team are sending some vehicles over towards this side of the map. I don't usually play this side very often. So if I get myself yeeted like a bot, that's, that, that's on me. Um, Let's see. Let's see, what are the odds that someone's gonna poke this corner here? Or this corner. 740 damage into this full. Let's pull back a little bit. And let's see, that concept could be a huge nuisance for us. I don't wanna get myself stuck in a crossfire with that, uh, the rat set. <laughs> the, rat, the rat in the concept. Let's aim for his turret. Nice, there we go. Once again, there's that gun handling, just reigning supreme there, like an absolute champ. Um, we're gonna want to be careful not to overpeak this dude because of the crossfires from the right hand side here or left hand side I mean um, As a matter of fact, I low-key think we're gonna be better off just pushing forward or defending our spawn one of the two Let's see the concepts gonna be a huge problem here. So you know what? I'm actually gonna go back and deal with our rear. Oh, no, 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 buddy That's not the play. That is not the play. Okay Let's try and get ourselves into a hold down position to start dealing with the 60 TP and the 50 TP here, and Bobby is currently burrowing under my comforter. That's great. All right. We do have a bit of a crossfire here now on these fools. Let's put a, not HE. I'm actually gonna focus 60 TP. He's more dangerous to me. We're already down three tanks because, you know, talented allies go burr. Um, thankfully, I do have an AMX for support here. I'm still in a somewhat hold down position, but I think, I think we, I think this game is kind of Jover, guys. There's, there's not a whole lot I can do about this uh, at the at, at the at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, we, we can at least eat the 60... T oh, dang. I thought he was poking all the way. Yeah, th this this game's over. Oh, gosh. What? What a team. Man, what a team. Wait, 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 wait. I have a... I, have a, I was going to say I have a big brain idea here, but that's not going to work out in my favor. All right, Lord play the 60 TP. Very good stuff. Let's not let the Sheridan flank me just yet. All right, let's back up a little bit from the 60 TP. We do manage to get that ricochet, that oh-so-very-important ricochet here. And the Sheridan's gonna struggle a little bit to flank me here. All right, let's see. Can we... You know what? I'll just shoot AP. Oh, wait. I swear I loaded AP. That's a Scamiosa if I've ever seen one. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Um, Good lord. How bad of a team do we have there? No one tried to take on the concept. Wait, I'm pretty sure E5 could have gone a hold down against the concept and beat him there. I dealt 3,000 damage. Um, our E5 did good, but uh, zero damage Andy over here. One shot Andy over here. Two shot Andy over here. Also, another two shot Andy and another two shot. So basically, except for the T110 E5, my five other allies there did no more than two shots of damage. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a yikes. <laughs> if you go try hard on your account, you usually run a platoon. No, usually I run solo, but if I'm if I'm chasing more after just like pure win rate, then I'll just platoon with Fidu and go like 90%. <laughs> Change server HRF, go to EU. <laughs> Maybe we can pause require high pain tolerance. They do. They do. Still, the WZ did his job just fine, and I think that game showcased more of the gun than the armor, but uh, we were able to stay mobile enough there to avoid the Sheridan being able to flank us fully there, so, you know, we got to see where the mobility and the, um, the gun handling actually felt quite good that battle, but there just wasn't much for me to do. Unfortunately, if that concept had someone engaging him, we could have pushed topside and cleared out the upper hand side of the map, but that concept sitting there for free really kind of screwed over my team because he's going to have crossfires on us the whole time. So well played to their concept positioning wise, um, not so well played to my allies because, you know, allies got themselves eated when they didn't need to. Uh, let's check this gang tank's gun handling. There we go. Nice little snapshot. Let's use this rock as cover because the 183 is a crossfire on me. 
Last thing I want to do is get you by a 183 right now. There we go. Ricocheting that 183. Armor profile goes burr. Case in point. We now know the 183's positioning vaguely. It's somewhere back there. Uh, let's see. Do I want to rotate back to our spawn? Maybe. Oh, gosh. Our TVP's getting himself killed. So that 183... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We might have shot on the prog. I do have to watch out for the 183's crossfire in case he accidentally hits me shooting at someone else. All right. Shot. That one went too high, I think. Let's pull back again. Always keep my ang armor angled up to the 183 whenever I think I could get spotted. And you know what? That 183 is probably going to get spotted up by the TBP soon. So let's see if we can pre-aim here a little bit. Unless that 183 rotated out already. If you rotate it out, that's huge. Oi, 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 oi. What's the IS-4 doing? Ah. All right. Aim, 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 aim. Uh, nope, 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 nope. This dude's going to give me a side shot in a moment. Ah. Shucks, that was a that was a rip. We didn't even hit the prog. Do I keep sniping here, guys, or do we do we do we yolo in? I mean, I don't think sniping here is the worst case scenario, because I do have a decent amount of crossfires here. I'll take like this IS4. There we go. IS4 gets deleted. Um, TBP got deleted as well. Wow, was not expecting that. But uh, looks like we are in a stalemate here, guys. Looks like we are very much in a stalemate here. All right, let's aim in for this prog here again. He's gonna pull forward and pull back once more. So let's just pre aim for that. All right, when do you think he's going to poke up again? One, two, three. Nope, missed. Okay. <laughs> it was worth a try. Let me think what we're going to do from here. They have a lot of crossfires. They still have a lot of TDs as well. Uh, Super Bunker looks like he's taking a hold down position in the enemy spawn. There's the 268. Our E4 gets deleted. Yeah, we are kind of in trouble because of our lack of middle map control at the moment. Uh, here's the 268. 268 dropping off finally. The V4 might spot up this dude. Let's take another blind shot in case. Guys, you really should stop pushing it into their spawn. All right, yeah, we're going to hold here. Holding here is going to be our best bet. The reason I say that is because um, if we keep pushing into their spawn, we are so screwed. Let's put another shot into this man's here. Good stuff. I think I might have hit the prog because it looked like he tried to go for a blind shot on me. Maybe. And I've hit three shots. Have I? We're going to have to hold position, guys. Uh, Wait, wh where's hold position? Ah, the command doesn't exist anymore, right? Forgot Wargaming did something silly like that. Okay. I don't think the... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What am I watching, dude? Oh, my goodness. Okay. VK, we need to back up and hold here together, my dude. Uh, is this it? Hold corner with me, my brother. We will show them the way. Okay. Let's pull back from here a little bit. Nice. Okay, there's the prog. We did not hit the prog blind, sadly. Okay, here's the prog again. There we go. Quick shot to him there. Ah, oh, dang. That's a TVP. That's not good. Uh, our VK is going to get wrecked here. I need to try and keep our VK alive at all costs, so I'm going to take one for the WZ here. There we go. Sadly, though, the, uh, the man gets himself yeeted, so that's a rip. Okay. Minecraft box doing Minecraft box things, and we are very much getting flanked here. Let's try not to get hashed. Oh, rip. Yeah, that's the one problem with this tank, guys. It's it's a wee bit tall, by the way, if you did not notice. Uh, that can be a bit of a, a bit of a pain in this vehicle. 4,500 damage dealt, and my allies did everything in their power to not win this, basically. 215B, TVP, guys. Oh, my. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should actually put uh, same control mode on after all, because <laughs> wait, this dude did zero two. Oh my gosh! And, oh gosh, two and five V did two shots. Yeah, well played to the prog. I did forty five hundred damage there, which I'll take. Uh, let's try and get some different cues because these teams are these teams are not it, man. We're doing fine damage, but the teams. Mm. I see that it's not only on E server that there is such a failure. Uh, yeah. No, no, that's pretty common. This is the NA server in a nutshell. Basically, the only times I'm winning on the NA server is when I am, like, solo sweating in my medium tanks, which I can actually get, like, 80-90% win rate in, like, the STB, the Patton, some of my favorite meds. But uh, playing any other classes tank, it's hard for me to be reflexive enough to deal with these teams. That's why I love mediums, because they're pure versatility most of the time allows you to be such a game changer for something you know a wztd as great as this tank is as a support um as a support and even second line aggressive vehicle it, it can't be quite as reactive to a lot of scenarios so 
That's kind of a rip. <laughs> let's uh, let's try some mobile teams. Hopefully, maybe some slightly better allies because people don't understand the basic concept of map control. Like pushing across a wide open plane into the enemy spawn where they have crossfires is never going to work. And we had two, basically two tanks just kill themselves doing that. Um, they scammed there, but it is what it is. Let's see. So there's an E100 here. Oh, there's an IS-4 here as well. Don't think he can spot me. He cannot. Here is probably with an AP shell. Ah, really? That's, 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 that's unfortunate. Okay. They already have someone in C as well. Oh, there's the Waffenträger. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy Waffenträger. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this Waffenträger really? Oh, no, no. Ah, uh, I didn't realize I had shots at him, but someone shot out of the car. Maybe, maybe we can hold here. I'm not going to overextend just yet. We're going to wait for the Waffle to make another silly peek. Like this one. <clears throat> 1100 HP out of him. So, um, well played Waffle. There we go. Also, this tank has pretty darn good camo. By the way, if, if, if you didn't realize. It, it's camo actually works pretty, pretty darn well. Um, Ice 4 looking for a shot on me. Let's put a heat shell into him. 480, 483 damage. But, you know, that's what 365 round millimeters of heat pen will do to a poor Ice 4's armor profile nowadays. Um... Minorazzo is kind of sending it at this point, isn't he? Okay, Waffenträger just fired. Let's put a quick snapshot into the Minorazzo here. Once again, that traverse speed and dispersion allowing me to hit snapshots like that, which is just really satisfying because I didn't have any time to aim that shell in. I'm going to act like I'm not paying attention to the Waffle here. And we're going to maybe bait him. Okay, never mind. No need to bait him. He baited himself. Okay, E100 still down there. Eyes 4 rotated back. Let's see if there's anything we can start doing about this, this engagement here. Okay, there's the Minorazzo. Not quite able to snipe his turret there. Let's pull back a little bit from this E100 so we don't give him a free shot on us. But nope, he, he just gets one because why not? Minorato is getting crossfired out now, though. So, I mean, here's where maybe 300 millimeters of heat pen would be nice. I don't know. It, it might be kind of nice here. <laughs> here's where another degree of gun depression would be real clutch. Okay. Um, I can't really push on these dudes. If I could base off in the E100, maybe I can. Come on, E100. Okay, E100 just fired. Let's pick up a clear in the Minorato while we can. There we go. Minorato taken out. And we are still doing okay for the most part, I think. Yeah, we're still going to be okay for the most part here. The E100 is going to be bait, though. If we if we all turn for him, they could be end very poorly for us. All right, so e 100s in the open. Heat shell into him there. Nice. Let's pull back a little bit from him. He's now two shot. I'm going to keep playing defensively here and just hope my allies stop throwing away their HP. Let's pull all the way back for the time being. Okay. 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 This could be huge for me. Quick shot into this E100 here. Just try and keep an eye out for this 200 LT. Okay, T100 LT is not really giving me any shots here. Okay, he's looking up the other way. Interesting. Okay. Oh, dang. They have caps. They have mega caps right now. I'm going to act like I'm not looking at this dude. Oh, snap. The IS-4 is going to give me a free shot here. Let's take it. <laughs> Come on, E100. Get the T100 LT. Oh, we need kills really badly now. We need, we need kills really, really badly right now. My goodness, what a uh, what a special team here. All right, well, teammates are just dead. I am dead too, guys. I am very, very dead here. Okay, we get one ricochet here. Let's try and, and, and bait this dude at all. Can we do bait the VK? No, what is this auto aim? I got screwed by auto aim. Oh, if I killed the 100 there, I don't think I would have won. Um, mobile team's not much better, but at least the game lasted longer. I don't know. I, I, the, the problem was I couldn't push the 100 there because of the crossfires. 4,500 damage again, another loss. Like, like the tank's doing fine, but here's the problem. Your E4 does one shot and he's a 42%er. And then I'm not sure what our E100 and M103 thought they were doing. They just like YOLO'd across into a huge crossfire and just sat there and died when they, when ideally we should have pulled back and let them push into us. <laughs> I don't know why the auto aim you know out of all of the changes Wargaming has made to auto aim I still play with it because it's it's a little easier sometimes most of the time especially when you're kind of um, shooting on the move um, 
They've always tried to change auto aim, but they've never fixed it's stupid that it tracks onto whatever tank is closest to you. It'll, it, 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 like, it won't track onto whatever tank your reticle's on, it tracks onto whatever tank's closest to you. So even though the VK wasn't even inside of my reticle there, it tracked onto him, which... Hey, come on, come on, Wargaming. If there's anything you could fix about auto aim, fix that, and it would actually be very valid to use in a lot of scenarios. <laughs> yeah, it, it's wonky. It, it, it didn't make a difference in the end. I still would have lost because great teammates basically left me in a one versus five there uh all they had to do was survive and not throw their tanks away but you know that's too much to ask for most players nowadays let's see what we can do for this battle because uh i don't like how many games we've lost right off the bat one thing that i've noticed is that lost streaks usually occur in a streak and then they get better after a little while so here's here's the hoping we can start getting a win streak going and we should hit a, a nice blind shot into the minerato there and my Three meds here are really just scared to make this pressure play, which I'm not really sure why, because this is a very easy push for us. Oh, of course, the Midorazzo hits that. All right, Mr. 62A is in the open. All right, team, come on, guys. Let's stop. Let's stop slacking. Don't make the don't make the WZTD do all the work here. Send it already, my dudes. The 62A is by himself. Come on. Let's go. Finally, holy smokes, meds. You have like a four on two advantage and you're refusing to make any kind of pressure play here. That's that's actually just diabolical. There's no other word for it. <laughs> All right. 690 bounce there. That's the 268. 57 coming up from behind us. Looks like our Sheridan's going to try and spot behind us a little bit here as well. Now we do know the Minerato's positioning here. He may or may not poke. I'm going to wait for him to see if he does. Although I don't have gun depression in this little ditch here. I just don't have gun depression in general, I guess. Let's see. t 22s in their spawn. Our Sheridan's holding back here. They have an M6Yo rotating back a little bit. This Yag's kind of blocking any position I'd want to take right now, so... Oh, wait. Is that what I think I see back there? It certainly is. Let's take it. Nice! Huge HG into the grill. That's clutch. All right. Puts me at 2,100 damage so far. And looks like our TVP finally rotated back to start dealing with Mr. 57 Heavy here. Uh, Kitty Kitty, uh, what an interesting username, Kitty Kitty. Okay. We have a Yo now in the open who we could very much HE, but maybe killing the 268 would be more ideal. Never mind, we might have just gotten ourselves killed here. <laughs> we low rolled him. Left, leaving about 69 hit points. That's kind of insane, ain't it? All right. Let's see if this dude pulls forward. Kind of don't want to die here, so maybe we play it back a little bit. Um, also E100, you're gonna have to take shots from this 57 heavy here. E100. Is the top of my tank showing? I don't think so. E100, just go! You're- you're- you're just- you're holding us all back. Go! They have two caps, you silly willies! Go already! Full HP E100! Full HP TVP! Go! They have two caps! They're gonna- they're gonna win on cap here if y'all don't start moving. My goodness. This is why I hate supremacy on this map, dude. No one no one quite understands why you need to push here. Okay. Come on, guys. Defend defend A. <laughs> Go get A, you sillies. Oh my gosh, this uh STB made him turn towards me. Okay, that works. I just need to not die now. Thank heavens, they finally win. <laughs> I, I give credit to our Yag though, he's the one that sent it. Alright. They might try and go for a C cap here, right? I feel like they might try and sneak cap C or try and kill me in order to get the W. So I'm going to just watch our rear for the time being. Let's see. Didn't do a whole lot. I kind of had to be the, the tank that, that motivated my team to, mo to actually push the hill when they should have pushed the hill years ago. There we go. Just as I predicted, they would go for C cap. If you look at the teammate, it is the attack red. Yeah, but it's so hard. This toggle wheel is rat. I don't like it. Okay, wow. The one game I win, I do 3,100 average damage. But uh, I'll take a win at this point because we were not cooking up wins earlier. Uh, w to the Jag. Yeah, shout out to the Jag. E100 and TVP, dude. Both, they're both on full HP. Just like, <laughs> come on, guys. You, you got to go at that point. You, you just gotta go, because in, in Supremacy, every, like, little second can matter so much in those scenarios. I, I get the whole idea of wanting to preserve your HP, but me not having- me on 200 HP, it'd be more of a detriment to the team if I got myself killed there. That's why I couldn't go for the- for the, uh, the kill, uh, for the cap there. 
I was uh, hoping I would high roll the 268, and that, and the fact that at the, at the moment when I poked the 268, it looked like he was aiming at someone else. I'm like, mm, maybe I can sneak a shell into him, but uh, that was definitely a little bit of a misplay on my part. The problem, once again, with this tank is you really don't want to play it in hilly terrain. So let's see if we can do something somewhere else. All right. How aggressive do we want to be is the real question. Not very aggressive. There's a good chance their whole team comes back this way. So let me think. What are my allies doing here? Quick shout out to this dude. Bit of a low roll, but I'll take the pen all the same. Now, 200 LT running away is potentially concerning of what their team is up to. Well, not concerning, uh, suggestive of what their team is doing here. So, I'm gonna do the most logical thing anyone would do in this scenario, and that is to YOLO this KPZ-50. And kill him. Nice. All right, so we managed to clear that dude out pretty quickly here. Um, it looks like you do have quite a few crossfires. So, which engagement am I gonna take? I'm a bit worried about 263. Those things are just rad to deal with because of their... Very heavy armor profile, even though I still think the tank's not the best. Um, I should have crossfires here. There we go, on the Minotauro. It's in for that field tank, maybe. Not quite able to hit the field tank, but we do manage to hit him, and we can pull back safely here. I believe, to some extent, I am haul down here. So, you know, that that's that's the good news. Uh, this Yo is not paying attention. Let's max roll him. Nice, 800 damage into him there. Oh, man, yeah. Put this tank in a town map, and it cooks way harder. It cooks way, way harder. Okay. So Minerato is rotating back. T100 LT is going to be pushing in through here. Put 600 damage into him as well. Um, he's really going to pull all the way back for one shot of damage. That's that's actually impressive, to be honest. All right, Mr. Um, Mr. Mr. Jacques. All right, let's put a quick heat shell into this Minerato here. He does heat me back, and that's to be expected with TD Heat, although he did hit my weak spot there. Our spawn is still holding. That's what's important at the moment. I'm going to just keep playing this corner here. And HE, nice, 200 LT, I guess, was not paying attention to the map at all there. So we do manage to get a nice clear. And this game has potential to actually cook up a little bit. So let's see if we can start a bit of a counter push here. We're already at 4,500 damage and didn't quite feel like it, but uh, that's how quickly you can accumulate damage in this saucy tank here. Um, IS-7 is giving me a nice rear shot. Um, 57, please, please stop blocking all my shells here. Thank you. Another 800 damage roll into this dude. Good stuff. Uh, they still have a 263 floating around somewhere. Yeah, we're not we're not going to really pay attention to him all too much. I'm probably just going to go... Oh, wow. The Minotaur is actually chasing me down, even though he knows there's a bunch of tanks in spot around this corner. That's so weird. Okay, well, he's dead. GG. Nice. Yeah, that's the WZ experience we're used to. You just pull up in some little, uh, some little... Little mini ditch in the town and you just farm up, like straight up. <laughs> that's almost 6,000 damage. First class. So the tank still has a pretty high ace bar. That's good. About 1,500 XP, I'd assume is an ace. Uh, which is not the highest, but I'll... Oh boy, our, our, uh... mm, our STB did zero damage there. Poor, poor soul. You know, he was great bait. He was fantastic bait. I'll take it. Do you want to send to garage real quick? Yeah. Do you know what else he was not thinking there? The way he pulled back. I know, right? <laughs> I wish they were always available. Realistic battles are the best. Ah. You know, I, I will give credit for realistic games. That is probably one of the few game modes that in, that should, in theory, increase player skill. Because your, your map awareness and your situational awareness has to be really good and realistic. And also your attention to um, understanding where you can append a vehicle and where you can't append a vehicle. Realistic game flow is definitely the most educational game mode we have. Everything else just causes brain rot, I think. Especially the, the game loads with multiple lives where people just have to throw them away at some point. And um, I genuinely think that might be a little detrimental to the... Uh, to the intelligence of pub players, but uh, realistic, to be fair, does realistic does provide education. I don't really like the mode. I think it's kind of boring, personally. But that's just because to me it's very very similar to pubs. In which case, I'd rather just play pubs. But um, anyways, enough of a tangent there. We have a game to win, guys. We have a game to win. Two wins in a row. We are not losing right now. We have to get nothing but Ws. Also, shout out to this tank's gun once again cooking up here pretty hardcore. Um. E50M way overextending there, but he didn't get punished for it, which is kind of a shock. I expect him to get punished there for that. 
Uh, here's the enemy Z100. The TNA just about to poke me. Let's put a quick shot onto him. Nice. So if you pay attention to the map layout, you can see there's this little divot here. This divot's enough for a tank like the WZ to go haul down. So that's exactly why I went into this divot here. Let's just get my tank haul down. Let's put another shot to this dude. Um, if you don't have gun depression, just look for this little hill. You see this little dark bit of terrain here? There's the smallest little divot that allows me to get the gun depression on this corner. So you can definitely corner snipe from back here. Just some, you know, useful map information for those playing on this side of the map here. Not really sure what they want to do. Um, 60 TP. 60 TP yoloing is going to cause everyone else to kind of push up here. So let's put a shot to the 100. Nice little max roll there. And they are very aggressively pushing here. We still have a 183 for cover fire. That's the good news. We're just going to have to keep holding here and doing our best to assist our teammates before they die. Hopefully our 100 can back up into safety as well. Let's keep your aiming here. Badger might be looking my way a little bit, but he's going to get distracted by the other dudes. And I think this 183 is going to get ready to poke me soon enough. Yeah, he's definitely thinking about it. Put a shot to this 183 and pull back here. Nice. 183 gets taken out, unfortunately. Um, let's see if there's anything I can do about Mr. 60 TP here. That's going to be my goal. So 183 is on a long reload for the time being. So, no, that was so sad. That was so sad. Thankfully, I have good reverse speed. But still, that was a El Bozumus moment on my part here. Our... Area 100 is going to get yeeted here soon enough, I think. Yeah. And we know there's tanks coming around from behind, so this game's a loss. We're not winning. I don't know why our 50B had to get himself killed here for no reason, but that's basically the big reason why we're going to lose this game in the long run here. Yep. It's so over, guys. It's so over. It's over for us, my dudes. Maybe I can at least get some damage into this KPZ, who should not have the best reverse speed. Well, aim for his fuel tanks, right? Nice, we get one ricochet here. Alright. Oh, not nice, not nice. Maybe maybe I can maybe the 60 TP can get blocked by the C100 here. One more shot, please. No, it is mantlet. That's so rat. Oh, Badger's gonna kill me. <laughs> um Help me Tom Cruise here in the 50B making the least intelligent play possible. <laughs> You don't push that aggressively right off the bat. You have to make sure their team's not there first, man. Uh, 4,000 damage. Again, 4,000 damage loss. Apparently, we had a Chieftain Mark VI. I didn't even know that. He did zero damage. We also had a T30. We, I didn't see who did one shot. And 50B did two shots and died. And, um... <clears throat> yeah, my team just didn't exist. <laughs> mm. That's painful. That's a great position, too. Why couldn't my... Oh, man. If my allies had just taken corner, maybe that's what the Chieftain did, and that's why he died. Because I didn't see that Chieftain. He just he just vanished from the game. The 50B also. Like, my gosh, dude. You, you, you never, never make that aggressive play right off the bat unless you're, like, really, really confident you're not going to get counter-pushed for it. Because that I saw him lose all of his HP, 100% of it, before the damage indicators could even vanish. So, uh, basically, when you have two heavy tanks just insta-die right off the bat and do 800 damage between the two of them, it's just... Bruh. <laughs> uh, the Iwata actually drew a crap ton of attention. Yeah, the Iwata did fine. The Iwata did fine in terms of, like, staying alive for a very long time there and just holding that corner. I don't think the Iwata had really, um, made any massive mistakes there. Really, the biggest problem that faced our team was just the fact that we lost two of our very strong heavies, right? Our haul down Chieftain with 3,000 DPM, and I can't climb a hill anymore. Wow, I guess I just suck at this game. Excuse me, I'm just gonna go throw myself off, off of this, uh, I gotta go drive off of this bridge now. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Okay, um, let's go, guys. We, we, can, we can make a play here, right? I don't think their team's really gonna be here. They might have a lot of TDs, though. Uh, yeah, judging by what our Sheridan took, they have a lot of TDs towards their spawn that could be cross firing out the side of the map here. Something to definitely be aware of. And so we are going to be a little bit careful when we pop into this cap here. And so we're going we're gonna to pop into this cap here for now. Because I want to get those supremacy points in our team's advantage as soon as possible. Okay, there we go. That Yak's going to give me a shot on the crossing, I think, in a moment. Wait, the Yag's just sitting there pre-aiming, as if I'm gonna poke him. Okay, that's adorable. Something that's not so good for us right now is definitely gonna be our spawn. We will have tanks to crossfire out the rear here. Uh, I don't know what Mako is doing here. So let's put a little snapshot into Mako. Mako on 400 HP already. Ay ay ay, dude. That was um, a very peculiar YOLO by you, if I say so myself. I know you're in E50M and you like YOLOing and stuff like that, but uh, dude, that was seriously something not to be recommended. All right, snapshot. Oh my, dude. I'm telling you, low-key, this gun is underrated. 
<laughs> this gun is very much underrated. I, th I think this gun absolutely cooks, personally. All right. Okay, E6 should not be able to spot me just yet. Oh, we bounced the Jaeger just now. I don't think I'll be able to spot the 183, so I'll take a blind shot just in case and pull back. And the E6 is going to get counter pushed now. Let's go. That's huge. Okay. Anything I can do to help out against this E6? Maybe. Yeah, the E6 is low-key trolling our allies. He's going to make a break for it across this map here. I'm going to be waiting for that. I am anticipating that. Quick shot to him there. Let's make sure I can't get shot from behind. E6 is going to try and bait me. I'll try and ram him a little bit here. Badger somehow fluffing his kill shot. That's that's incredible. All right. E6 no longer a problem. Nice. Well, I think we did fine here. I think we did fine and dandy. We'll have to watch out for that 183's positioning. But... Okay, 260's counter pushing. Actually, it's still a pretty close game. Let's be careful here. If we get overconfident, we could definitely lose this. I have a feeling that Yag's going to poke this corner here. So maybe I'll just set up a, set up a little uh, pre-aim here on this side. In case that Yag does go through with his push. Which he might or might not. And also, we still have to be aware of that 183's positioning over the right side. Which maybe if our Badger pushes up and spots him, that'd be huge for us. Oh, 183's not on the right side. Interesting. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Well, interesting. Very, very interesting. That's the WZTD there. Good to know. We know we roughly know his positioning. That's the that's the important part. I don't think this 183 is gonna push yet. Well, we're gonna win on caps, if nothing else. They they actually do have to make a play here, or else it's just GG on caps. It is GG on caps. <laughs> They're not moving. They can't move. They're stuck. They're all stuck in a ditch. Oh, dude, he starts driving left last second, so I fluff my shell. No. That is so uncool, man. Oh, bro, I'm getting scammed. What is this nonsense? All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's what we got to do now. We gotta watch for all of these tank destroyers here. That could be coming up for me. Okay, I don't know if the 183's fired yet. It looks like he has not. Fortunately for me... Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, sure, that's a zero pin on the 183 there. And this dude's just yoloing again to try and tunnel me now. And we're gonna win the cap. We're gonna win the cap, so I'm gonna just get one more shot in here. Bro, I got scammed late game there. That should have been a 4k damage game. Oh my gosh, the 183 is such a lucky... Such a lucky player. What is this nonsense? Well, we won. Um, very, very, very easily there. So, yeah, great, great stuff. Supremacy for the win. <laughs> I'm so mad, dude. The shot bouncing off the side of the 260's turret, and the shot bouncing off the 183, because he just turned right randomly when I was aiming for the corner of his turret there. If I had just been the bot and aimed dead center of his turret, which is a little harder to pen, I, I think I actually would have just penned up there. <laughs> And then I went for the tracking shot on the 183 when we went to cross. And after the 183 got PBR textures, basically the front drive wheels are extended past the hull a little bit more. So sometimes you get those really annoying shots where you, you aim for the drive wheel, but it hits the front. It tracks them, even though it's at an angle, it doesn't go through the hull. Good morning from Australia, fans. Just managed to fit your stream in. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Lucas. Appreciate it. Sunday teams, lol. Chinese quality RNG. It's... it's yeah, not really. I guess, I guess you could blame the RNG for it, but oh well. 1.1k basic speed, third class. Yeah. Well, I know it, it probably takes 1500 basic speed to ace this tank. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's the same arrival player. We keep getting the exact same. This is the problem with playing save control mode on NA is the queues are so tidy. You're, you're going to keep facing the exact same players over and over again. Sometimes it's a little bit annoying too. Especially if they happen to be stream snipers. It's really annoying because they know exactly where you're going to be going and where your team's going. So, um... For now, yo. Oh my gosh, dude. What? <laughs> what are my teammates doing? Wow, this is a lot of WZTDs. Three in one game? This is the most I've ever seen. <gasps> uh, someone sneaked onto A from the right side crossing here. Hello, Mystery 100. All right, nice quick early shot into Mystery 100 here. We also have a WZTD on our right side here who's making a very questionable play indeed. Um, and by very questionable, I mean he's about to get eaten the side by me. So, good stuff, dude. Alrighty. We'll keep an eye out for that grill, but this WZTD is um, is bleeding out a little bit here. We have to watch out for that E100 though, am I right? Okay, the Yo's gonna cross, so maybe he'll bait someone their shots out. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What's the grill doing? Come on, girl. You gotta pull up again. 
get a pull up again there, buddy? Maybe not. Maybe we can get the type instead. Not quite the type, but the 30B. Yes, we can hit the 30. Auto aim tracking onto that dude again. Uh, this is why I wish sometimes I could play without auto aim, but my, my shooting is just so rat without it. All right. I can cover this WZ from the bash shot the on here. To some extent, you want her just fired. I'm gonna act like I'm not paying attention here, maybe. Or Batchat might be on a, a, on a long reload right now. What the heck is that 30B doing? All right, let's load up a high explosive shell for him. Huh? Oh, yeah. right, nice, nice clear by this man. So we do manage to bounce the CC here for a shell. Uh, mistakes might have been made, ladies and gentlemen. Mistakes might have been made here. We now have a bash shot to yawn behind us as well. Mistakes were most certainly made here, guys. Yikers. What? Where's my whole team? Oh my. Wait. So our yo just decided to stop helping us. That was a 2 and 5B that, that got himself killed on Canyon. Our Patton's just cross firing. Our Sheridan's cross firing. Our Waffle is AF. Capping C? Uh, okay. Well. I might have thrown that. You know what? Let's uh let's uh YOLO on something else for anyway. That that game was a that game was a rip. I wanted to help our WZ out there. But then I probably should have just stayed back. That was a mistake. Trying to help your teammates is always a mistake. Uh what, what would be a funny tank to YOLO run? I'm just gonna do a YOLO run on the grill while I wait. I don't wanna watch those dudes, man. <laughs> you just all like a 42% of the VK with no camo. I didn't YOLO though. I was trying to I was trying to push them to help our WZ in the ditch. The yo dipped. Yeah, I'm saying the yo dipped. The yo literally had their WZ's attention. He has the ability to one clip that WZ out of the game and help our WZ kill that type 60, uh, that type 68, right? So when I made that play, I saw that we had a tier 10 yo in the ditch, keeping their WZ and stuff at bay. Our WZ was still fairly healthy, just pushed in. I'm, like, I'm going to help him out in the ditch there. Um... But that, I guess that was a mistake because the Yo decided to just run away even though me and the WZ took the attention of five enemies there. I should have just stayed back and tried the snipe. That's what I get for trying to be a team player. I only really went for that play to try and keep our WZ alive so we could both work the ditch together. But um, if I was if I was being a damage farmer, I never would have really gone for that because I could have just sat back and farmed them from behind. But oh well. This is why I need to get my help ally instincts out of my brain because it never works out in your favor, rarely. Unless you actually have a good teammate, which uh, I guess our Yo decided not to be supporting. So we're, we're gonna just uh, do a little YOLO action on the grill while we wait because I can't be bothered right now. All right, quick YOLO, quick shell. Looks like most of their team is up top over here. That is good news to know. Um, let's see, is anyone gonna pull forward for me? Maybe the CS, not quite the CS, maybe this E6 here. Ah, the grill's gun is uh, very questionable at times. Alright, wait, 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 wait. How do I not have gun depression all of a sudden? Oh, it's because it's gun depression over the sides. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, come on, grill! Oh, I hate this tank's gun depression angles. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm trying to play a grill right now. It's, it's, it's not the tank. And I'm going to be the only one over on this corner in a moment. All right, who's going to poke me first, though? Maybe I can get a good shot on the 4005. Yeah, 405's definitely going to peek that. Come on, come on, peek it. Peek it. Nice, I had her damage, and I'm there. Good stuff, he gets taken out. All right, all right. <laughs> this is, I did not mean to make this a Gorilla 15 uh, stream. It's just I don't really feel like um, trying to watch those poor Andes play. Oh, of course. Of course, we just can't spot him from that distance. I see how it is, Wargaming. Alrighty. Rat IS-7. Oh, look at the E4 tunnel. Wee, Buddy's just gonna YOLO around the corner for that tunnel. Alright. Hit him, boys. Hit him where it hurts. Oh, oh never mind. He's just dead. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do from back here. The bat shot the on seems to have done a pretty decent job this game. He's... Oh! He got racked by the bat chat. No, I just gave the bat chat so much damage there. All right. Yo had no clip yet. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The Yo has a three shot gun. It reloads 13 seconds. It doesn't take that long for him. The fact of the matter is though, when that Yo, when that Yo just dipped and we actually managed to win, let's go. So I'll take that. Well played to the WZ. Um, the Yo only doing 300 more damage to me in that snare. Um, 
And the thing is, the O had no reason to run away, though. He had no reason to run away. He could have sat there and, and definitely dunk shots into their WZ or their Type 68 pretty much for free once me once I pushed in with their WZ, right? Because if that didn't happen, then they would have just been crosshaired out. So I was really banking on that Yo staying in that ditch and covering us. Now we're at saved you there. I guess, maybe, unless he didn't see me. Hey, Batch Out, I dream. <laughs> Batch Out racking the IS-7, insane. All right, back to the WZ we go. At least we won. I'll take it. What, they won? Uh, LOL. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, their WZ was a one-shot. Um, their, what else was, what else was low? WZ was a one-shot. Their Type 68 was basically dead. Their CC, I mean, let's be honest, the CC is not the greatest. He was not surviving that. I think what I'm actually going to do this game is wow why, why is it the moment i start streaming i get every single wz 113 gft now in this game when i've basically seen none of them for the last few days <laughs> ay, ay, ay. i wonder how many of them could potentially be stream snipers hmm i wish a nominizer was actually a thing though that'd be kind of nice like full-on a nominizer for for streaming and stuff like that of course i could always delay it but it's, it's not worth I like being able to respond to chat actively. All right, so what could their team be up to? Oh, interesting. So we got a WZTD over here. Huh, how peculiar is that? WZTD firing, but uh-oh, uh-oh, WZTD not realizing he is also getting, ah, uh, snap. All right, I'll take that. There we go, armor profile goes burr. Managing the bounce to 60 TP there. I don't know what he's doing in that corner, but um, let our man's cook, I guess. Let's see. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. I need to help our, our AMX. I need to help this dude out here in a moment. Oh, he blocks my shot. No way. This could be problematic. He's, he's definitely dead here, I think, guys. Oh, of course his gun blocked that shot. That's so rad. Okay, now I have to go one versus two out in the dunes here. Um, I'm getting scammed. I wanted to make that dude a one-shot at all costs, but... Uh... RNG just ain't feeling it right now, I guess. Now I have a Progetto problem, for sure. Okay, Ooh, there's the WZ. There's the Prague over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, Pro Progetto just got the cap. Oh, nice, WZ got nuked. That's huge. All right, track shot. Not quite a track shot there, but I'll take it. Oh, no, he killed my driver. Killed my driver. There was all I needed to get screwed over by this dude, basically. Yeah, that's a meme, dude. Of course he kills my driver there. All right, allies. Time to start cooking. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, that's just GG, dude. Uh, of course, our... Oh, yeah, he hits that. Bro, why is our prog so dumb? How does the Progetto, who had the whole rear of the of the WZ, not kill him? He let him is he let the WZ escape there. He also happened to block my shot on the WZ that would have guaranteed the WZ basically dying. And he did not pen a single late game shot on that WZ. My gosh. That's what I get for actually trying to help my mediums and dunes. I should have just gone town. I actually would have been way better off in town because this tank is much better in a flat terrain environment with lots of cover, but. Well played to their prog, I guess. He got lucky with the driver kill. He would not have been able to circle me if he had not killed my driver. And also, I don't know how I didn't track him there. I basically shot for his whole drive wheel there. Nice WZ. I shot for his whole drive wheel there and somehow, <laughs> somehow I didn't actually take it off. Hey, man, here's for the paid RG bill. G Water, thank you for the donation. Do appreciate it. My gosh, if I could actually start getting some decent teams for once. I, I'm genuinely confused how the Progetto, like, um... Yeah, just, just pull it in front of me. How the Progetto did not, like, nuke their WZ for harder there. Because you saw with that Progetto on me, there's, like, it's really no way to get the prog out once it's behind you. So I'm just super confused how that happens. <laughs> WZ seems like a heavy destroyer more than a med support tank. Yeah, I only went med support because I thought our Progetto probably wasn't going to win that flank. All right, I'm gonna change up the cues again. I am tired of stream snipers too, because I can just smell them in the air. Smell them in the air. I can tell, you can definitely tell when you start running to, against the same like players in the same clan over and over again. 
I just want to randomize skews as much as possible here. Why do you, uh, why do things like the Miles and uh, Type 57 have so much radical lag compared to others? Um, slow turret traverse speed? Not sure. All right, WZ. Come on, buddy. Literally all week I've been playing you with like 4,500 average damage and like 80% win rate. Why is it the moment I'm streaming, I'm getting the most cursed experience ever in this vehicle? Lovely fatness here's for the paid I think, RNG uh... Bill. I think I'm just gonna do what I usually would do with this tank, which is just go heavy side, screw my teammates and not help them, and yeah, of course. Where are my allies? They're nowhere to be found. How, how typical. What? Oh, he pinned my roof. I'm like, how did the bat shot pin that? A 114 is sniping and spawn. As a as a good as a good little piggy would do. Let's see. Hmm. Of course that spots me up, man. What is this bat chat even trying to accomplish here, dude? <laughs> Straight up, what is he trying to accomplish here in a bat chat? <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if he's going to cross back one way or the other, so I'm just going to have to pre-aim one way and hope he pokes it. Or is he just going to sit here all game? I don't want to overextend because we know where the 183 is located, but if I turn my attention away from Mr. Batshot here, it could be bad for me. Although he should not be able to pen me very easily from back there. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to struggle to pen me from back there. If that 183 wasn't in their spawn, I would actually be free to move around a little bit here. Plus. Alright. Well, this game is just gonna blow. Looks like my beds are just hardcore pushing, so I do respect that. Oh my gosh, he took such a bad crossing too. I could have eaten him. Yeah, I can still get some good crossfire from back here though. Oh heck yeah, dude. Let's uh let's put a quick shot onto this man. There we go. And we'll have to keep an eye out for the 183 for sure. He could try flanking us or something silly like that. Um, I would love the opportunity to maybe Amarak this dude if I can. Not quite. Okay, we're getting decent crossfires out from back here. This E6 might give me a shot in just a moment. Ah, uh, no, he's pulling all the way down. Okay, 183 is still going to be a problem. So I got to always make sure to keep an eye out for his positioning here. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, wait, wait. Do we have an HE shot on this dude? Maybe? Well, that definitely would not have penned if that was AP either. So, I guess that's fine. <laughs> I think we hit his mantlet there. Alright, come on E6. Time to poke, buddy. Come on, buddy. Time to make your peek. Oh, my gosh. Where is he? Oh, WZ. Thank you. I'll take a blind shot. Alright. So, let's think. The Sheridan's still going to be a bit of a piggy. We know their 183's up top there. Um, we still have a full HP Badger over here. So, that's the good news. Oh, 183. Oh, gosh. 183 long rotated out. Okay. Poke it again, E6. I dare you. But well, now we know where the 183's positioning is. That's huge. He's the one I was most nervous about. Off the bat. Problem is still going to be the, the light tank floating around. That Sheridan's going to be very problematic. Conway, we know, is a one shot at least. Okay, here's what... Aha, uh -huh. I had a feeling the Sheridan was going to poke there, that's why I didn't overextend. That position, very much. Almost. Okay, there's the Conway. Nice clearing the Conway there. We gotta see if we can deal with the Sheridan. He's going to be our main objective at the moment. Do you have shots on this 1A3 at all? I do, potentially, but I don't think I'm going to take him just yet. All right, let's see if the Sheridan's still here. Mm-hmm. The Sheridan's not here. Interesting. No, he is. Oh, he's really holding far back, ain't he? Nice. Okay, Sheridan got taken out. That's huge for our team. Let's see what we can do here. I can still get one tapped by the 183. That's the problem. I'm not careful. Let's see if we can spot up a little bit here. Okay. I don't know where that 183 is going to poke from if he pulls around here, so I just got to be careful for now. 
Our Badger's finally moving up. Hmm. It's a bit risky. But, yeah, the 183's over here. That works for me. They might try and counter Yolo this side then to kill the W to kill me and the uh, WZ111 or 114. Okay, I'll take that. This dude is on a fairly long reload now. Oh, I will definitely take that. Oh, oh yeah. All right. We get them W's. Let's go. I should also have a clear on this dude if the... Uh, oh, he lagged out. What are the odds of that? Track shot. Nice. Didn't quite max roll him, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's as triple as that, guys. Oh, he even screwed over his shot on this dude. That's highly unlucky, my dude. Passive game, but I'll take it. <laughs> salam, brata, vratka. Ah, salam, salam. Love your streams. Ah, thank you. <laughs> OP blind there, no dirt. Yes, indeed. Okay, 5k and a W. Wow, we finally won, guys. We finally won. <laughs> Hello, HRF. Long time no uh, bunking the red team. Long time no bunking, huh? Hello, Helmy. Are we getting new Chinese heavy soon? Yeah, I believe. And I'm not sure when the update drops. I believe I heard speculations that it's sometime within the next couple uh, couple weeks or so, right? So that is uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, I will definitely be streaming that tech tree once it's released. I can promise you that. That is bust. Huh? <laughs> next week, the Chinese tanks are coming. Okay, so it is next week. Look, Curious is the absolute giga chad with all of the info. Thank you, Curious, because I have no clue what I'm doing or saying anymore. I've just given up at this point. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to spot both my right side and this crossing here. See if I can get some early shots on anyone. I don't want to overextend just yet because, you know, 183s go burr. You know, come to think of it, we do have this SD1 here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That opportunity could be really juiced here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. Enchanté. Hello, Mr. Fosh. Please take 900 damage to the fa- Well, there's that 183. I don't know where he pops from, but he disappeared from nowhere. Thankfully, he didn't hash me, but that definitely did not feel very good. Then again, we did also- Yeet the Fosh. So at least we yeeted the Fosh in the process. The other 183 isn't here too. So that's the good news. They they are a bit distracted on our 4005. One of them just fired here. Uh, we should have a clear easy shot on the ST1. Nice. You should be able to clear him out. Yo, I believe in you, my dude. I have faith in your abilities. Good stuff, good sir. All right. Do we keep pushing forward? Which way do you think the 183 is going to be peeking? I'm waiting to see if I hear him shoot. So I'm going to be a little quiet. He may have just fired. Or not, I can't tell. We will shortly see. Oh yeah, another HE. Let's go. I love this thing's traverse speed. It's goaded. Okay. So he's way should have the clear there. Then we could just push in on this I7. Get stuff. And that should put me at well over 3,000 damage for this game. Amrak maybe? Not quite. Nice. 3,600 damage dealt. Some good stuff. Alrighty. Now it's just a WZ Lat and a 183 that could one-tap me. So let's 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 pray we don't get one-tapped. That would just be so uncool as an experience. Alright, I have faith in my angling and debating abilities. Ah! <laughs> he high rolled me with AP, but we didn't die. Let's go. Mission accomplished. We got our 4k damage out too. The 62 is gonna steal all the other damage basically at this point. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, there we go. See, this gun does feel really good, man. It does. It, it's very snappy. And, and that's what I was saying. Like, it might not be the best at sniping, but at fairly close quarters and movements, it is very, very snappy. So 4,700 damage there. I'll take that. Fortunately, that 183 didn't hash me earlier. I got lucky there. I will admit. <laughs> Curious, it's mostly just having a full wallet. <laughs> hey, yo. From getting the same premium. I think it was the second cause. He wasn't uh, getting many kills nor spotting his damage. Wait, what? What are you referring to? 5k is a second. That's crazy. Before Christmas, 4k was an ace. Which vehicle are we referring to? It just takes time. 
If um if you mean mystery crates, then yeah, you could get one you could get one mil credits. One mil credits, lol. Sweet! I have to buy 15 tier X and equipment plus crew 16 with new Chinese heavy. Uh you have to buy 15 tier 10s? Oh no no no, you're talking about something else. Okay, I see. No, I was a bit confused with the wording there. Let's see what we can do for this battle. You know, I don't usually push up through B, but looking at their lineup, they don't have all that many heavies. So the odds of them sending a lot of heavies here, not very high. Actually, only a 752 and a 57 heavy, which, mind you, are still very, very dangerous. But um, maybe we can yeet these fools out of the game somehow if we are lucky. All right, quick shot to the pattern and really. I hate RNG sometimes, man. I really do. Let's cap B real quick first. Let's cap B and see if we have any crossfire on these rules like this. Do you want any fork here? Do I hit for 140 damage? I feel accomplished. Hello, Mr. Bashatheon. Hello, sir. How do you do? How are you doing, good sir? You're doing dead. Good to know. Well, we've already picked up a couple kills here, I guess, so that's a W. And that's why I did make the middle push there. I'm glad I didn't go for C defense. C defense would have been pretty rat. Um, maybe I'll go back to B defense then. They're probably going to push for a 183 pretty soon. Or go through towards the entrance of B, and someone is going for B cap already, so... Or going through B cap already. Or capping B already. I, they, I don't think they've quite decided what they want to do here. Still, it is a T22, so... Bop, quick shot to him there. Let's pull back safely now. He can push me all he wants. I don't think it's gonna go all that well for him. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a T22 for you right there, man. But he has no clue what he's doing. <laughs> I'm right, not See this this is weird glitch. I'm trying to hit target and look, look, my tank is on his vehicle and it's not like it used to activate target and like do I have to like scroll up and hit target now, like straight up? Because if I have to do that, that's such a pain. Such an extra step for for no for nothing. All right. Well, this game's already over. Man, their team got walloped. Wait, what? Why is my man yellowing into a 183? Oh my, well, rip my damage. <laughs> rip my damage. Oh man, I got four kills, but their team got absolutely <laughs> deleted. Damn racking question. I7 greater than VZ, in my opinion. Can't be an I7. Mm. If we're going on just like what is consistent, then I7 is consistently rat because of its armor profile. If we're going on actual performance metrics, I would say the VZ is way better. It has more gun depression and the VZ's gun is probably top three favorite heavy tank guns for me right now. Top five. Uh, I, if I said top three, that'd be disregarding a lot of my other favorite heavies, but top five. like. You really can't compete with the level of um, the level of accuracy the VZ has for a gun with 470 alpha or 480 alpha. I think it's 470. You really can't compete with that. It is just insanely good. Okay, we take our early blind shot. We cross back. I'm not gonna sit on this hill because what happens is usually you'll get spotted by a medium tank from up top there. So it's not the safest position. Not as safe as you would expect it to be. And I see an opportunity here. So it's look. I I done scuffed my opportunity, guys. I done I done threw it. I done threw it into the dumpster. I should have gone for the side of his of his turret there. Maybe we can still get it. Nice. Okay, the second one went in. Let's go. Huge. All right. So we have these dudes being quite aggressive up top here. I don't know if the fifty bees are gonna poke again. We'll see. Wow, the fifty bees really did not pen much there, did they? They, like, got two shots, two or three shots into our 57. That was about it. Oh. That's not cool, dude. That That's that's just really not cool. Of course. This is what happens when the 57 is not spotting. But he should be spotting that ridge there for us. But no, he's not. So, I'm going to have to sit back here. I guess he is dealing with their meds, which isn't the worst thing in the world. That E3 did hit me kind of hard, though. He almost missed my whole lower plate, though. That would have been kind of funny. All right, let's see who's next. I should be safe here. Should be unspotted. Yep. God, 57 time to start spotting them fools up, my dude. <laughs> I really don't like sniping, but there's not really a whole lot I can do in this scenario here. 
Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah. It's another 800 damage to that 50B there. I'll take that. He doesn't even have a retracking shot on me. Okay, I should have repaired that sooner. Now he's got to get across safely, maybe. Or maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. All right, one more HE shell here, guys. 900 damage to him. Let's go. Pull back from the E3. Now it's just two TDs. Basically, I've just been HEing 50Bs all game. That's pretty cool. I've gotten almost 3,000 damage of HEs on 50Bs. Let's go. Alrighty. What to do next? E3 just fired. Here's Mr. Yeageru. Yeageru is not quite pulling up, but he's thinking about it. But he's not quite going to do it. That's fine, I guess. This E3 is just getting himself griefed. Yeah, straight up griefed. Okay. Whoa there, Mr. Yeageru. Oh my, what is he doing? Why are you backing up in front of the V? Oh my, uh, rip my damage this game, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rat TDs. <laughs> I'll take the W. I will take these Ws though. Yeah, the VZ just aims different. Yeah, the VZ's gun is so good. It really, really is so good. I, I played a couple games in it the other day, and it just reminded myself how much I love the VZ. Also, the VZ's ace bar has gone up quite a bit, though. It, it's it's like um, it's no longer a 1300 XP ace. It's like 1500 or so. Fantasy's camo net, <laughs> maybe. All right, I don't take camo net on TDs. I don't snipe with usually. VZ is good in face hugs because of improved uh, impervious upper plate. Yes and no, because the VZ also has a rather large hatch on top that's really easy to snipe in a face hug. So a taller tank face hug, not going to go very well. And it also has those areas without spaced armor along the front of the turret, which are pretty easy to overmatch and the turret ring. But at least you don't have to really worry about your upper plate ever getting yeeted. That, that, that's one good thing about this tank. Also, yoink. <laughs> Get wrecked, buddy. Get yoinked, as I like to say. Also, this 422 might be giving me a shot here. Where are you at, 422? Hmm. Hmm. He backed off. Smart play, actually. Oh, hello, IS7. What? Where? No, dude, that is a scam. You know, he can't even AP pen that, that upper plate like that. So. He basically got the blessed RNG there. My goodness. Okay. I don't I don't really want to get into a hold on fight with a Hori here, because that will just pepper my armor. Doesn't matter how what tank you're in. Hori's gonna butter your armor like nothing else will. Um, that's why you don't make those plays, dude. This is looking very bad for us, guys. This is looking very, very bad for us. I don't want to give the, the 4202 free shots on me, so I'm not. Well, my teammates are all a bunch of silly, 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 silly people. What the heck are our crons doing in a corner where they're not going to utilize any of their gun depression instead of just taking middle and pushing their team back and then... We have Andy. We have special Andy over here at the Progetto who's been running around the back of the map, not capping bases either. Oh my gosh. Bro, look where my whole team went. They all went into a corner. Why? You, you like, the corner is good to have a tank or two is for control, but my gosh, what am I watching? So, our 268... <laughs> A 268 was sniping, which is fine. A Progetto was wandering around on the other side of the map. Um, our bat chat. It, it really, the, the, the problem here <clears throat> is both Krons going to a position where they're not going to be utilizing their tank's haul down, and they're giving up the entire middle of the map. I was the only one trying to hold it there. I guess I should have just gotten town like I usually would in this tank, but once again, I thought, oh, we have double Krons. We should be good in the dunes. They really don't have much there, but, um, you know, that... That's assuming your crons actually know what gun depression is, and I guess these crons don't. <laughs> I swear, something just can't be helped. Yeah. No, they can't. I probably did 
close to the top, except for this dude who is sitting spawn sniping, so I, I don't really count that, but like... Come on guys, you're both 50%ers. You should, you should know better than to just give up the entire middle of the map like that. If you're playing dunes, you have to ab absolutely have someone holding that, that front dune. Because these Krons were so tunnel visioned on a tank that they were refusing to kill that they didn't notice the IS-7, the 215B, the 121, or the 4202 pushing in behind them. And I was basically trying to hold all of those tanks off of their rear. It's why it's super important to always kind of pay attention to what your allies are doing and also what the enemy team is doing. Because those dudes weren't doing anything on that flank, but they were also giving the enemy team freedom over the entire rear of, of, of them. Which, like, hold down crons are practically invincible in that dune. All they had to do was go to the dune. And, um, I think the enemy team would not have done well there. All right. So. So far, no one's been spotted. Well, no heavies or TDs have been spotted. Okay, there's a yo. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything we can do about this, guys. I'm going to be playing pretty aggressively through the middle here. The only concern I have is the 183. That could hash me pretty easily. But there is a KPZ here. Oh, and there's their 183. Let's put a quick shot to the 183 and back up. I don't want to take on the 183 per se. And let's see what this dude does in front of us now. All right, we have Mr. Yo over here, who is just straight up sending it. That's adorable. He has the big gun, so he's going to get two shots to my lower plate here. This is this is uh, your typical heavy tank syndrome. Oh, oh guys, I'm, a, I'm an autoloader. I got this. Oh, oh guys, I am dead. I do not got this. <laughs> autoloader syndrome goes hard. Do not fall victim to autoloader syndrome. If you or a loved one are falling victim to autoloader syndrome and have the symptoms, please call 1-800-I-NEED-HELP-WITH-MY-TUNNELVISION.COM. Alrighty. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I should be in spotted behind this bush for now. For now, I, I say. Nice. Got it doing its job pretty well here. Let's go. He might spot me up now. Oh, come on, poke it, poke it. Oh, oh my. Hmm. Yeah, not worth. Oh my gosh, really? RNG really does hate you sometimes, man. It really does. I was fully aimed in. I didn't even, like, I didn't even move my reticle there. All right. Let's see. IS-7 is going to become bait here for the 57. I'm going to push up from the right side and hopefully get a nice above angle to look down. Thank you, uh, Mooksal, for the donation. I appreciate it and do appreciate the support and everything. Alrighty. Now we have truly become one with the damage farm. I'll let the Krod deal with him. Yeah, that's right, Krod, my man. <laughs> oh, this dude's so dead. He is so dead. Before I can maybe get another shot in. Let's see. Nice. I'll take it. I think this tank is so ugly. It's not the prettiest uh, tank. That's for sure. Some people cron, some just cron. Oh my gosh. That play on words. How silly. Uh, could you show your auto aim settings by uh, any chance fatness? Well, what is there to show about them? With button. That's it. That's that's the only setting I could have on auto aim with button. <laughs> oh look, the most broken tank in tier 10 right now. I don't know about the most broken MJ, but it's definitely very good. Also, I've had like a very terrible experience with teams so far this morning, but I, I, I know from when I was playing this tank on my account solo for the last last few weeks here and there that the tank is very, very good. I just apparently get absolutely terrible experiences whenever I'm live streaming. Which I guess is to be expected. It is a lot, uh, a lot higher chance that there's going to be a bunch of stream sniping piggies after me, and that can make a huge difference when they know what your team is up to, basically. Even if there's like a 15 second automatic delay. All right, hello, Mr. VK. There we go. Quick shot to you, good sir. Let's wait for that E4. But oh my, is that is that what I think I see? Is that a wild E100? All right. Shell into him. VK's pushing out. Let's make sure we don't give him a free shot on us. VK is dead basically at this point, so we can just ignore him pretty much. 
Um, I need some of the spot day 100 because I don't have the view range from here. That one? Anyone? Please. Yes, there we go. Okay. There's the 100. And there's the Minerato. And there is the T110E4. Who I should be able to avoid here. Nice. And we hit him blind. Good stuff. Okay. So we see the E50, the STB. We also know the E100 is positioning quite well from here. I think we can straight up just kind of send it on this E100 at this point. Hello, good sir. I hope you're enjoying your, your tenor in this game. <laughs> uh, this is such a perfect scenario for this tank. I'm having fun here. This is going to be a funny, a funny GG battle moment. All right, boys, pick up that E100. I have faith in y'all. Go for... I thought the Batcha was going to go for a ram there for a moment. Oh, I thought this was a Minotauro. It's a Moishin. Am I actually silly? Anyways, this dude should be dead. I'm going to go back and help her spawn out. Nice. Easy claps. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! I will, um... Mm hmm mm hmm I would happily accept that shot. Wait, 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 watch. We hit those as well. Oh! <laughs> That's how you farm damage. That's how you farm damage. <laughs> Late game there. Hey, Doge, how's it going? Uh, oh, my gosh. Five and a half thousand damage, boys. We pop it off. <laughs> There we go. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Max roll HG and then 880 on the E4 back to back. That that literally gave me 2,000 damage and two shots there, okay? 2,000 damage and two shots. Um, it brought my... <laughs> four, brought my... Yeah, three and a half thousand damage game to five and a half thousand. Nice meme. Vanity uses spam 263, not gonna lie. I, I have never been a huge fan of the 263, man. I am. Except for when it was first released. When it was first released, it was kind of good back in the day, but 263 is ain't for me, man. I don't know what to do on this map, really. I'm a little concerned here. I usually play maybe a little bit into the middle here, but I don't know. Okay, quick early shot onto this Bashathion. That's huge. Yeah, buddy. You can shoot all you want at me from that angle. <gasps> Holy smokes. Was not expecting this 57 to be here. Really? Oh my. Oh my. Dude. Nice heavies, by the way. He shouldn't be able to pen me very well if I angle this up properly. Chat's flanking around. All right, let's use this opportunity to get out of here a little bit. I might take one from the Leo. It is what it is. Leo can tunnel me all he wants. He's not going to get much more farm on me here. Okay. Alrighty. We still have a 183 problem to deal with, which is what I'm being a little bit cautious of right now. Okay. Maybe. Oh, dude, this Leo. Holy. Tunnel are galore. I'm more concerned about the bat chat, to be honest. There he is. Where is he coming? Really? Oh, that shot went so low in my reticle. That's cap. <laughs> oh my gosh. At least our, our other dude's doing okay for now. Nice. Okay, he's doing fine. Okay, there's a 263 here now. Let's go for it, Leo. Go for it. Nice. 600 to this man's here. Pull back just in case. Is that bash shot continue bread ideas? Okay, he's not. I also gotta watch out for that Leo. Ooh, wait a second here. Yeah, the 263 was the one I was mostly concerned about here. Nice. Showing him who's the boss. XM coming in for the support, so this dude can't even YOLO me. Let's go. That's huge. Nice. Alright, where's that? Oh, the Leo's... Is the Leo dead? No, he's not. We'll have to watch out for that Leo still. He could be in all sorts of positions waiting waiting to ambush us. 
Look at that traverse speed, by the way. That traverse speed is what makes the WZ so, like, yeet. Like, we, we saw the Leo coming in. We were able to instantly rotate around to deal with them. Also, I don't know what this 30B is doing, but uh, I don't think he's going to be living very long. Yeah, he gave the... Oh, of course, he yells into the XM. I thought he would try and shoot the... Uh, the concept there one more time badger is overrated e3 does the same job if not better oh yeah i would play an e3 over a badger any old day to be honest uh my problem with the e at the badger is it's just terrible gun handling if i'm gonna have like subpar gun handling i may as well be hitting for 680 alpha damage over something like the a uh, badger which is hitting for 460 yeah it shoots more frequently but gosh it's good it's just, this gun is not it man it's a fine tank, and if you if it's your cup of tea, then go for it. But man, not for me. Fanny, did you hear about the recent T9 Winter Bash tournament? Uh, no, I have not. 122 has insane DPM, but the gun depression is a pain for me. 122. What's one? Oh, 122.54. Yeah, 122.54 is, is like a true sniper. Oh, oh, my live stream is still good. My screen just went blank. I can still read chat. Okay, good. It's still running. I think it's still running well. Yeah, the Badger's atrocious gun handling is definitely the biggest crime against that vehicle. Dang it. I didn't think he was going to cross there. <laughs> I thought he was crossing back on Redline. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat uh, like a silly man. Also, my, our whole team is not really here. So I'm going to already start doing the pre the pre-backing out of this position here because I do not trust my allies at all right now. Yeah, the allies are nowhere to be found. So let's back up a little bit from here, guys. Trust me, you will thank me later. Case in point. We now have this dude yellowing in behind us. And the Brejeto. Where's my whole team at? Where is the whole team at? Oh, they're finally moving up, guys. Still have a TBP for support. This is not a bad corner of the hold. That's fine. Be my guest and keep yelling around that corner there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just keep tunneling me. Sure. Uh, this is over. This game's already over, dude. We're down two kills. Our TBP already got himself killed. Um, we're getting flanked as well. Psych. Oh my gosh, what is my team, dude? What on earth is my team? Holy smokes, man. Alright, nice try, buddy. Is this is this really your big brain plan? Is this really your big brain plan, dude? Oh my gosh, dude. What is this team? You guys are... Oh my... Oh my gosh, dude. That WZ is so lucky. Of course he goes for the most, like, idiotic YOLO of none of mankind. Broadsiding an E100 and an M103 and he somehow still survived that. Bruh. Well, yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome to this... Welcome to our experience. Honestly... I would not be playing right now at on the weekend with these types of uh, very Pepega players for support. Like, what was their plan? That's 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 my real question there. Holy my gosh! Yeah, they stream sniped. I think. Yeah, of course. Reggie always stream snipes, and I absolutely hate stream snipers. They're they're pretty pathetic in my opinion. Dude. One shot, 45%. My gosh, what are these teams, man? Batter's DPM is so good, though. It cooks if people ain't in front, if people sit in front of it. Yeah, but you have to wait for people to sit in front of you, which is not, which is not the case. My gosh, can I at least, oh, look, another, another one. And another platoon of them. Wow, I want, what are the odds of this, huh? <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Need a stream delay? I could do that right now. I could put up a five minute stream delay. If I, if I have to constantly deal with people stream sniping, like it, it's it's not even like the fact that, oh, they could blind fire you. It's the fact that within with only like a 15 second delay from what I'm actually playing, because there really isn't that much latency on YouTube versus um, 
my actual gameplay. These Pepega Andes will know exactly where my teammates are going and how they can deal with them. That's that's the problem with stream sniping. It just it, it, it screws over a lot of like your early uh, positional advantage because they'll have they'll already know what's going on. Oh, of course that dude doesn't commit. Alrighty. What the heck is that? We really was not expecting to see a T22 here, but um, okay. I have the ability to pop down on this dude. Maybe we can hit an Amarak on this T22 here. Not quite an Amarak, but I'll take it. <laughs> that T22 is being a very silly man. Alrighty. T uh, T22 done goofed over there. Uh, also, my stream is being very rat right now. Oh, look at this. What do we got here? Oh, uh, team. Hello. Nah. Okay. I'm calling this now, man. This this is straight. This is straight. This is straight, Cap. Yeah. Oh, now now you're gonna push in on your clan mate. Look at these tunnels. Look at this tunnel, dude. Look at this dude. Suck me. <laughs> Oh, isn't that convenient that his that his clanmate in the Leo in the corner who had full shots on him the entire time decided not to shoot the dude yellowing in a river who who for some reason felt very comfortable pushing through there even though he knew he didn't have corner control. That just seems like um, rigging if I've ever seen it to me. That is a very suspect gameplay for sure. I'm sorry. Nah. Yeah, I, I'm calling it, man. At least this this Kreese dude like tried to come in and help, but no one makes a play like that. No one. No one except for someone who knows that the 4K DPM Leo sitting right in the corner that can just pull back and farm you for free is not going to shoot you. Hmm. Oh, would you look at that? It's his clanmate. Huh. Oh, would you, oh, would you, oh, would you look at that? He did two shots of damage. These are not 70 percenters. 70, 70 percenters do not play like this. There's no way. <laughs> All I seen, seen in Reggie clan are rerolled accounts or clubbed accounts just for win rate. Yeah, I noticed that. I'm telling you, they, they'll, they're not playing like 70 percenters. I look at this and I think this is like 58 to 62 percent win rate player. <laughs> Stream size sucks. I was just reading about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only reason I like I would I wouldn't want to put a delay in my stream though because for me I really like being able to engage with my viewers live. That dizzy guy is a bot. <laughs> nah, I mean yes, yes. He he yoloed into a, a major crossfire there, but in the end, it was um, it was. At least the Kreese dude kind of like was shooting at him. But then again, if you're if you're giving your clanmates preferential treatment on the other side, you can't make it too obvious. Like that Leo can just pretend, oh, I was tunnel vision. The WZ that was like right in front of him had no choice but to shoot him. I'm calling it out right now, man. That was way too suspicious. That that stupid YOLO. YOLOing when there are two mediums in the corner, but what a you know the 4K Leo just so happens to be your clanmate. So maybe not something to be concerned about. It just, I don't know, man. It leaves a sour taste in my mouth. It certainly leaves a sour taste in my mouth. That's that straight up, that straight up seems like the type of stuff riggers would do in this game. I think their Yag is in the vicinity to shoot at us. It might be. Worth. It's worth. I'm taking it. <laughs> that yo could be a problem later on. So they do have a Yag up there. That's good to know. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, no, that's the 268 that shot at me earlier. Wait, is he still on reload? Maybe. Let's just take a shot just in case and pull back really quickly here. There we go. The Yo, I think, is getting himself killed, so we don't have to worry about him too much. All right, we're doing good here. So far, we've, we've fired up a pretty good amount of damage. We haven't lost all of our hit points yet, so that's the good news. Let's aim in on this dude real quick. There we go. 69 damage to him. Nice. There's the 268 as well. So I think it was the 268 that hit me earlier. Jaeger is not in a position anymore either to shoot at me.
Yo, what the, what, what the patent doing? E3 seems distracted for the time being. Pan gonna be a free side shot. Let's take it. Nice. Pan actually is straight up just yelling for me, ain't he? Yeah, he is. Okay, I'm, I should be safe here, though. Nice. All right. Pan's taken out. All right, guys. Let's take care of that E3, and then we can start dealing with the rest of this. The 1 one got himself yeeted somehow. Yikes. I didn't realize our 1 one was going to die there. <clears throat> oh gosh, the opportunity is too good to miss. It did miss, unfortunately. The opportunity missed big time. I should have gone for the yo, maybe. What the heck? Oh no, there's a WZ light yellowing in for me. At least we AG'd him. I didn't really. How did the WZ light get into our spot? We did 5k damage there, though. No, it's fine. You're not going to hit that. Just got beat. We should win. We should win very easily. Too bad you can't ban people from watching your YouTube channel. <laughs> All the <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is um, the only way that could happen is if I did a members only stream and decided who could be a member on my channel. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. That's why I play my press account when I'm streaming. So, so I don't have to like deal with this stuff on my own account when I'm where I actually do care a little bit about the stats. <laughs> Still, we did. We got a good old five thousand damage out. Thoughts on the STRVK? Thank you, MX3B, for the donation. Uh, personally, I don't think it's the greatest anymore. It's not bad. It still has a lot of things going for it, but I believe for the most part there are better heavies. Like, I think I'd probably just prefer to play a Chief to Mark Six over the STRV. Like, the thing about <laughs> the thing about the STRVK is it has no um, it has like no penetration. And his DPM got kind of yeeted a little bit. And its armor definitely got yeeted. There we go. 5k damage. I'll take that. That's a good game. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I just got a donation. I don't know if it hasn't gone through on the bot yet. But just another player tipped $20. And let me read that. Uh, lunch from before... <laughs> What trade before is on me or some some somewhat of it? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, actually, I think later this week I'm gonna be going going out to get uh, get some food, so that will contribute towards that towards that. Thank you very much. Just another player for the twenty dollars tip. Um, it should have gone through. I I uh, I, I resent I resent it. So let's see. Is the notification not going through? Huh. It should. Give me a moment here. Why is it why is it delayed? Wait, are none of my donations donation notifications going through? I just realized none of my donation notifications are going through. Are they? Wait. They're not going through. I just I, I believe they're not, right? I haven't heard the the bot say anything in a while. Unless unless I'm tripping. Uh, let me, guys, let me know. Have you seen any donations pop up on the screen with, uh, with, uh, with, a uh, bot talking about it at all? Oh, I levitated my take a little too much there. That's fine. I just want to make sure I didn't get three shots by the bat shot. So one shot's dealable. I can deal with that. Doable, I mean. Right, bat shot poked again for me there. All right. 60 TP, not quite. Unfortunately, hitting his upper plate a little bit there. Okay, I can angle around this corner a little bit. Uh, WZ114, please don't overextend. It's not good. It's not gonna bode well for you. No, not talk for Donuts Fatness. Oh, okay. So I need to fix my bot. My bot must be broken. All right. Now one of the TDs is back here. Oh, there it is. Give me that. Give me that side armor. Oh, snap. That's a 704. I did not see him there. Okay. There we go. 600 to him there. Nice. I'll take that. Let's see. What do we got? Jaeger is in the middle. Good to know. The 60 TP is like in a world of pain. <laughs> He's like, I can't do anything, guys. Help me. There's the 704. Box TD just fired. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's put a heat shell to this dude. Make him a one shot at least. And we'll back up so the WZ doesn't get a free shell on me here. Is anyone else going to make a play here, guys? 
Dang it. I, I want to I want to kill this dude, but I don't want to broadside this WZTD. But I'm beginning to think I don't have a choice here. That was AP! So you're telling me I just traded a shot to roll sub 500 on a 640 alpha gun. Dude, sometimes RNG really does just not want you to do your thing. Holy smokes. That was AP! Oh snap. God turn so the 704 doesn't HE me. That works. Okay. I can deal with the 704 later. I look you want to farm this dude if I can. Oh no, this dude's dead. This dude is very dead. Okay, we'll go for the 704 instead. Oh my goodness. Okay, we didn't really cook there because we had to deal with a bunch of rat hold on TDs, but I will take the um I'll take the dub. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why did he take that route? I thought he was gonna try chasing me down. You're riding the wrong camo on it. You need green camo that makes it look like a grass block. Oh, do I now? Bro, what was that game? Oh, it's MJ! What's up? Oh, hey, MJ, my man! I didn't even see you there! GG, you farmed. Basically, I had the 60TP, the WZT704 just staring at me that whole game. That kind of sucked. You're right, you're right. We need to run a grassy camo on this tank. Which one looks the most like grass, guys? I mean, that looks pretty close. I, I know it's conifer, but still. Still. It's close enough to grass, guys. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you got a point there, bud. We got to make it more grassy. There we go. <laughs> Fans asked about STRV tier 8, not the STRV K. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, STRV 81, don't get it. There's no point. There's there's really no point. Fix it. Bobby needs to know we, bu we, we bought a catnip to chip. <laughs> To trip off of. Oh my gosh, that's another player. Thank you for that $20 donation. Oh, I need to open up my stream elements. Uh, tab, enter. I need to see why my stream elements donations are not working. We're going to go to features dashboard. Uh, let me look at the lineup real quick. Good. If as long as there's no Reggie piggies, I feel better. Yo, MJ. Hello, sir. Hi, I'm a fan. Hello, uh, E3. You're, you're lucky. The one time I turned chat on. The one time I turned chat on, you actually get the, my, your message will actually get seen. That's a rare occurrence, my dude. All right, MJ with them good early shots off. Hopefully no one says anything diabolical during this game. I usually keep chat off, but you know what? Maybe we, maybe we turn it on for a bit just for fun. I, I'm usually pretty curious to see what people say while I'm streaming, but I always have it off, so. Let's see. Sometimes they say some very rat stuff, though. So I'll, I'll have to keep an eye out on chat. Make sure no Pepega Andes are out here saying super inappropriate things. Okay, the Chieftains in Narnia. Ooh, MJ going for that below spotting run. Hey, yo. There's that Kron. Put a quick shell towards a Kron here. Nice. Gun doing its job. All right. So, yeah, the donations are showing up. It would be streaming tools, overlays. I need to make sure my overlay's refreshed. That's why, I think. That's so weird that it's not working. It usually does. We hit those. We do not hit those, sir. We do not hit those. We are also spooted. Wait, do you have a VK-72 that's already dead? Hey, yo. Was definitely not expecting that. Don't they still have a chieftain in the room somewhere? That's definitely something to be concerned about, I think. Oh my gosh, my man's with that RNG. All right, I think we're going to assume the Chieftain's just kind of in Narnia right now. All right, all right, do we believe? Do we believe? I'm just gonna HE this dude's hatch. There we go. We're gonna go with the early HEs for starters because that'll be a huge benefit to our team. Me and MJ can just cook up over here. Let's go, MJ. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's cook a fine dining T120. Ah, uh, snap. This is gonna hurt. Okay. So you wonder looking, you wonder's not looking. There we go. That's what matters most. I don't really care about this dude as much. I'm more concerned about the water rotating back for me, so... There we go. Maybe not the water, but it's T62. There we go. Huge! 
We've done a we've done a good counter push. Me, this Kron once in a while, and MJ just been like straight up griefing their spawn. It's pretty good. I'll take that. It's pre pretty pretty darn good. All right. Now we know where the enemy Kron is headed. Oh my! I didn't think the water was gonna keep backing up to shoot at me like that. Ay ay ay! What a ratatimus prime. STB might be coming for me. Yeah, STB's definitely coming for me. I'll try to make him overextend if I can. MJ, the goat, the goat coming in. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah! Let's go. Thank you, MJ. Thank you, King. <laughs> Thank you, MJ. You're an absolute chad for that. Oh, this is why it's so nice to have one good player on your team. It makes a world of difference. Holy smokes, man. Mm. Mm. RNG not making a huge difference there, though. That's for sure. I think this E100 is waiting for me. I can't tell. Okay, I think E100 just fired. Nice. Good clear. Good clear, boys. Good clear. My goodness. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we can do now. Which way do you think the Kron's gonna rotate out? If he rotates out, me and MJ can finish him off. I got a bit scammed with some of my shots against that E100. Sir, yes, sir. Ura. Oh, he caught him on fire. I'll let it burn. Oh, damn. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That was a good game. Thank you, MJ. Chad, MJ. Chad, MJ, the GOAT. I agree. The GOAT. The GOAT moderator came in and saved me. All right, GG, dude. <laughs> hey, yo, who's Dust Off Dog? Why is, why is he mad? Oh, <laughs> the STB is salty, I guess. I guess the STB is a little salty. Uh, we'll turn chat off now. Okay. I'm gonna just be perusing my stream overlays. Goodness, Insta Cures. Holy. Uh, overlays. Don't own super chat overlay. I'm gonna go edit now. Let's see. We're gonna emulate. Let's emulate a $10 tip. Okay, so it's working in Howdy, my stream. My name is Bill. It's it's working in my software. So it's just it's not working in OBS. I need to probably update the um it should be in the dono group here. Wait, where is it? Donation alert box. Let me see if I can. Um what is this? Refresh when okay. I don't know why it's not working in OBS. It should be. It's, it's it shouldn't be that complicated either. There we go. Nice early shot. I need to find out a way of fixing my OB my uh, stream stream notification. I'm sorry, just another player. I know you've been donating, but it's not showing up for some weird reason because none of my donations are showing up right now. Um, outside of what's donated inside of the YouTube chat. Nice 260, man. We're doing okay for now, I think. We're doing we're doing we're doing good work here, brother. We're we're, we're doing we're doing just what is expected of us, brother. Ah, <laughs> was not expecting the pen he there. Okay. Um, sir. I love this tank. It's gun really is so good. I know we've had kind of a scuffed session in it, which is true, but it doesn't stop this tank from just being fantastic in, in many regards. Scuffed session, scuffed session or not, the tank still cooks. Unless that happens, of course. Hey there, buddy. Good stuff, dude. Yorime. Yorime. Greedy HE farmer. I am. I know. I know. I am greedy. Oh. Dang, sun's still trying to tunnel for me. Hey, yo, that's so uncool of you, dude. 
That's really uncool. Mm -hmm. Oh, enchanté. Oh, oh. <laughs> damn. Please don't pen me. That'd just be so. That would be so rude of you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. I'll take that. We got some good HEs. Okay. So I know the the donation is working in the actual app. Ten minutes. Ten, ten minutes. Five HE slaps. Has it been that many HE slaps? Just another player. Hello, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad I can at least see you in chat. <laughs> um. Oh, fuck it. No. No, we're missing them all. Just another player with a $100 tip. If RNG does not want you to high roll, then I'll high roll <laughs> the dono amount. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Just another player. What the rat was that game? Fanny, get out of my games. That could have been 6K. I'm sorry, MJ. Thank you so much. Just another player. I don't know what's up with my donation alert box. I'm going to like copy control C. I'm going to recopy to Lincoln. Copy and paste. Okay, okay. Let's see if it works this time. No, it's not working. What is this? Ratness. This is very rat, guys. This is very, very rat. A little too rat. All right, take time to fix chat. I, I know, dude. I'm getting I, just another players with the clutch donations, and it's not even showing up on stream because for some weird reason, my donation alerts are broken. Why? They, I swear they worked at the beginning of the stream. I'm so confusion. Oh, buddy. We believe. Oh, we were close to it, too. Actually, I'm not going to push forward here. We have no one spawning heavy side. Yes, bounce them heat shells, buddy. Bounce them heat shells. Bounce them. Bounce them. Oh, oh my. Wow. How unlucky can I get? I can HE his hatch. But uh, that, was, that wasn't it, Chief. That wasn't it. That definitely wasn't it. All right, let's see. Is anyone around this corner? Oh yeah, there's a chieftain. So that one hits. The one that's not aimed in, by the way. That's, that's just how RNG rolls with you sometimes. Oh, that chieftain made a huge mistake. He's not feeling good right now. All right, they have someone on B cap though. That's something to be aware of. It's a 405, eh? And an STB yellow one in behind us, huh? I think the STB just made a massive mistake, guys. I don't think he thought this one through too. R Royal King did not think this one through all that clearly. The heck is their E4? Oh my gosh, all these rats are just sitting back here. Okay. Come on, 60 TP, WZ. You can literally counter push that dude. Oh my gosh, now they go. But it's too late at this point. Ah, oh, this E4 is still tunneling for me. Oh, wait. He went the wrong route. I am silly. I am actually losing all the farm this game, man. Holy smokes. Stop yelling forward. Stop. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> what? It hits the opposite side of his turret. I mean, I'm just impressed that hit, Loki. Because that was not it in terms of RNG. Oh, my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, come on. YOLO out into the open. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. Well, that was, um, random. Very random indeed. Is this E4 still looking for me? It's not quite looking for me. Oh my, I hit a millimeter of wall there. Oh my. Guys, I just, I am just having the most unpleasant game right now. Wow. This actually blows. This legitimately blows. Wow. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw my tank away. I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. I can get a, a replacement for cheap anyways. It's fine. It's a cheap vehicle to replace. All right, sir, you are now a one shot. Here's where the WZ's traverse speed is gonna be kind of rat to deal with for this dude. Okay. Oh! No, I could have sworn I traversed to the right. I just threw. I just threw so hard. I threw so hard. No. Ah, uh, that was a bot moment. Yeah, I'm just gonna put uh, testing one two. <laughs> Thanks, Chen. He, he's broken. <laughs> Thank you. Just another play for another donation. Um, stream elements. Let me reopen this up and see if I can fix this real quick. <clears throat> Dashboards. That was. 
Oh, let's, just, let's just pretend we didn't see that game, guys. I, I think I'm too distracted because I'm really, really annoyed right now that my streaming tools, overlays, edit, um, save. We're, we're going to preview. Copy the link. We're going to do new browser application. Uh, don't know. That's what I'll call it. All caps because I'm cool like that. Uh, okay. Copy the link in. Control V. Uh, what is the resolution of my canvas? It's, for, it's, uh, it's 2560 by 1440. 1440. All right, okay. And then, full screen. Let's see if it works now. It works now. Okay, it works. Testing, testing one, one, two, two testing. testing. Yeah, yeah lights, lights broke G. G. <laughs> Does that work, guys? Looks like I need to make this full screen as well. Let me, let me save this again. Let's, uh, let's, let's just start sending all these donations through. Let's replay it again, the earlier one. Okay. If RNG, RNG doesn't, doesn't want you to, to high roll, then I'll high roll the donut. Please, I'm sorry. I know this is quite loud. I just need to reposition this. All right, let's do another one of his donuts from earlier. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's see if that works. Nope, that does not work at all. Sorry, this testing is... Testing one, two, testing. Yeah, no, it's broke G. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, one, one more. Let's, let's, let's do one more. Um, Let's, uh, let's do the Bobby one. Let's see if this looks good enough. Oh, it's good enough. I'll, 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 I'll fix it up later. Fix it. Bobby needs to know. <laughs> to I'll fix it up. Off. I'll fix it up later. I'll fix it up later. I know I, it's echoing because you're hearing the donation in my browser as well. It, it's catching it both from the browser and the game. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's because I had the stream elements widget open in my browser. It, it should be good now. Uh, Echo should be gone. Yeah, Echo, Echo should be gone. Just another player. I hope that uh, that helps. Thank you for all the donations earlier and everything. Do appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's all running smoothly now. My goodness, that was a pain. It should be, it should be good now. It should be good now. <laughs> it should be good. It's playing twice. Yeah, it, it's, it, oh, is it actually playing, playing twice? Donation alert. <laughs> Hi, fatness. Member for a month. Killer Clownfish. Thank you very much for the donation. We'll see. It should be good now. <laughs> we'll see. W once this, uh, once this, or actually no, that might not show up because it's not a donation. But uh, it is a super chat. It might show up. All right, back to gameplay. Sorry about that little diversion. <laughs> Hopefully, we should be good now. Who wants a membership? <laughs> yes, give me one. I need one. Thank you, channel member needed. <laughs> All right, let's go heavy side. Goodness, I have not been cooking up in the WZ today. Trust me, it is a great TD. But uh. My gameplay has been a bit, a bit suspect. I mean, gosh, you saw that last game. That was pretty bad. Um, so I would say don't, don't treat this, this stream as a definitive case for how the, how this tank performs, because this has been a little bit extra un, uncool skill issues on my part. Hello, VK. There we go. 700 damage into him there. Now we're gonna have to watch out because that badger and whatnot, uh, they could all rotate back for me. You can see I'm by myself up here, basically, uh, which could end pretty poorly for me if I'm not careful. So, actually it will end pretty poorly for me, I think. Looks like the badger is rotating back as well as the Bashatigon. So, let's begin our process of retreating. I'm not even going to aim that in. We're just retreating for now. We are retreating like our heart depends upon it. Mostly because, you know, Badger's Rat TPM would be super, super annoying to deal with. In 99 cases out of 100 for this tank. He's looking for me. Ah, uh, the Badger spotted me from under the rails. Yep, go figure. Or was it the Bat Chat that spotted me? Maybe it was the Bat Chat. Oh, no, dude. Oh, this is so scuffed. Maybe if my teammates can help me out here. Maybe if my teammates can help me out over here. Nice. Come on, team. Come on, team. Yeah, crossfire out this badger. Do it. Make it happen, guys. Make it happen. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I'm talking about. Crossfire this piggy out. 
Crossfire the piggy out. <laughs> I got to go block him. It's my best jet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Huge allies, dude. That 30B, that yo, and whoever else was there, absolute mad lads. You see, though? That's what you gotta do. You gotta play off of your allies in a scenario like that and hope that... In this case, my allies were good. In this case, my allies were good. But you see, my whole retreat that route, and the reason I backed up into that corner was just to try and pull that badger out into the open. And uh, that's, that's all we need to do. Just another player! If I become a Patreon, do I, do I act actually usually get, get to play, play with you, with you or, is you, or is it like you called fake fatness? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. That's another play for the donation. Um, if I become a Patreon, do I actually get to play with you or, uh, or, or is it with a dude called fake fatness? You get to platoon with a dude called fake fatness. I know. Not quite as cool, but you do get to play with fake fatness. Um, it's a little bit easier for me that way. There we oh, I should have just adjusted this in OBS. I'll lose some resolution on the notifications, but there we go. All right, our donor group's good. Also, Emojo, Emojo, thank you very much. You gifted five members to the channel. I really just appreciate it. Speak of the devil, just another player is also now a channel member. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> who else got a membership? Uh, Heinz Vaughn, uh, Mika Solar, I guess, and uh, Jax Speed. Guys, if you did receive a membership just now from the, uh, the very generous donation, do please make sure to uh, send your thanks in the chat. Big brain. Give me membership. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, man. You know, here's the here's the weird part. I, I have not been doing, like, as well in this tank as I usually do. I, I think I'm just a... I'm beginning to think I'm genuinely a bot. Um... But I'm not actually, like, really all that tired of playing it after two hours, which is saying something. I think maybe one more, like, solid game, and then, um, you know, after that, we'll do a few other fun fun, fun battles and some alter, uh, alternate vehicles. But I do want at least one good game. Uh, I'm also going to be having a very scuffed battle here. Okay, there's someone right in front of me. I waited just long enough for him to aim it in as, as well as I thought he would, and then we got to pull back now. I should out-reload an E3 by long shot. Maybe not a long shot, but I do out-reload him at least. Oh, and here's a 57. What? I, I give up on this absolute rat battle. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Sirs, this is not going well for us. Okay, the E3's not coming in. I went for the cap because my silly willy, silly willy team wants to send their whole team up on the hill in a supremacy matchup. And look how well that's going for them. They haven't cleared anything, even though I've literally just single-handedly held off like four vehicles over here. Boys, we are holding out. We're holding out. Have faith in us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, snap, the E3 might be coming for me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The E3 hasn't noticed my position here. Nice. Look clear on him as well. 57 might be just yellowing in for me next. Oh, yeah. 57 is definitely yellowing in for me here. It's Jover, boys. It's Jover. One more shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. You Pepega allies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our M4. No, he's not. Oh, no, he's not. Dude, they're they literally three caps down. How do you lose three caps here? You, bases. Bases, my dudes. Oh, my gosh. You got to get all the bases. You got a triple cap. Okay, someone's getting... Go for A. 200 needs to go for A. No. Okay. Get A. Add B. Go. Oh, my gosh. 200, go for... Ah, what am I watching? No. Okay, you know what? We might actually win this. Oh, the pain. I held an E3, a 57, a Super Conqueror, 
and we lost because y'all didn't just go for the caps. Y'all had to chase the full HP Super Conqueror down. Goodness. Goodness me. Well, I uh, probably did top on the team. Yeah, I did top on the team getting YOLO'd by all these dudes, which was a fine play by them. They had supremacy. They went to take two caps. I respect their team's plays. I think they did the right thing. I think um, this was definitely a huge problem. Oh my gosh, dude. They didn't just go for the caps. <laughs> <laughs> Venice, do you think any of your clad base will ever make a YouTube channel? Uh, probably not. They don't play pubs anymore, for the most part, except for a couple. Um, triple cap. Yeah, it's triple cap. I literally went to B to try and give our team, like, that early, like, cap control and also to kind of stall their team in town if they went to take town caps. My team somehow lost the C cap with a... Six on three advantage on the hill. Yeah, that's right. They had two times the amount of players up on that hill. They somehow lost C cap. They somehow did not recap C until way after I had already been taken out. And um, instead of instead of going for instead of going for the C and B cap, uh, C B A B and C caps, and just making sure that enemy team can't cap out, so that by cap stalling, um, they just decided to yell the full HP super conqueror got themselves killed. Like, come on. Oh, that was a that was a really just uh that was just one of those experiences of all time, you know. Oh, damn. I was hoping to catch him catch him lacking, but I didn't catch him lacking. Alright, we have a wild 62A coming up behind us. Excuse me, dude. Excuse me, dude. What you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Let's just get the T100 LT down. You know, what's this counter push this side, basically, at this point? Not sure where I even ricochet off of, but I'll take 744 to the face. I still have a Chieftain for support if that T100 LT drops down as well. Let's go, boys. Yeah. 365 heat goes burr. Chieftain, you have one job. Just be of useful. Be of use to me. My primary concern right now is gonna be that 183. Unless oh wait, he's dead. I'm actually a uh, a very a very good player, as you can tell, situational awareness wise. Alright, 2k damage dealt. We we're we're doing a good counter push here. Nice. We done did what we came here to do. There's literally 200 LT on our sides right now, but okay. And not blocking all my shots. Thank you. Nice. All right. I think we did find this game. It's already a GG, but I think all in all we did okay. wasn't uh, wasn't the biggest brain farm game, that's for sure. Where is this T100 LT headed? Oh my goodness, just another player with another tip. Played at the 21 game. No dependent armor or speed. B. What 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 is? Wait, wait, wait. Play the T2021 game? Alright, if you say so. Thank you very much. I, I thought that take was garbage, so I've actually never played it before. But maybe maybe my man's cooking. Maybe my man's is cooking. No, you're gonna get the progetto damage, you silly man. Doink. Nice. That wasn't quite the highest damage in WZ, though. Let's give it another try. I'll see your 6v3 still lost a cap and raise you a Sheridan that looks at a 183. It says, dude, spot, please. <laughs> Basically. Uh, 3k. Good job to our Kron84. They both did good there. Are we mostly winning? You, you know, we're mostly winning. Compared to the, the sketchy start of the stream, I'm happy with how many wins we are getting. Um... Please don't let me let me forget just another player to play a game of the T2020 as you requested it. So um, I'd be happy to. That's absolute trash, but still do it. <laughs> I was going to say, I've never heard anyone compliment the tank. Well, even with my sub per gameplay, I managed 50 and 25 in this tank over the space of the stream. Fatness is cracked. I have cracked, you mean. I, my brain is cracked. I swear, I'm probably not doing all that much better. Um, it is it is a cracked tank, though. Um. I think maybe 
I'm just playing a little bit subpar right now. Perhaps. I don't know. I, I was cooking up yesterday, yesterday, but uh, today not so much. And I remember the day before, uh, I was basically had four and a half thousand average damage in the tank for a session. So I think I'm just having a bit of a, a bit of an off stream session in the vehicle, but I still really like it. Maybe if I was to go like full try hard sweaty mode in this vehicle, it'd be a different story. Let's see if this thing water pulls up in front of me. Not spotted, right? It shouldn't be. All in and out, just like that. He's a keg. A little uncertain about this VK's positioning. The chieftains could just dunk on me if they're given the opportunity. I'll take it a little easier for now. I don't want to overextend here and get myself yeeted. So that would not be smart. Actually, you know what? We're, we're, we're overextending and getting ourselves yeeted because that would be really smart. They cheat to this man's ear. All right, let's see what's behind me. VK is not paying attention. We are kind of counter pushing pretty well here. Let's turn and put a shell into the VK with our insane traverse speed. There we go. Good stuff. All right. Let's just try and avoid the VK for now. There's the Sheridan. There's the Chieftain. We got good about a crossfires here. I can help our TVP clear the Sheridan here, probably. Nice. Didn't want to use my max roll on that, but I'll take it. TVP, you can you can kill the WZ light, then you can start dealing with this man's here as well. Alrighty. No point trying to avoid both of them, but I will use this rock to the best of my ability. Oh my gosh, my tank's stuck here. Wait, no! I, uh, I, uh, I done did a doopsie, guys. There we go. I was gonna say, that oopsie was, uh, for some reason, I got, I got him confused for being a one-shot when he wasn't. <laughs> That's a good game, yeah? I think we did our work there. We got a couple HEs in, seriously. Serious gaming, if I ever made a YouTube channel, it would be a lot of screaming and yelling. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. All right, 4K damage. Still not as high as I want. That's not what I would consider a super good game. It was a, it was a fine game. It's about what I want to average in the tank, usually. Um, I guess I'll try another one. Although, I have been thinking about it, funnily enough. Gentlemen with the insane YouTube channel. <laughs> you think he would ever? We scared, scared, <laughs> we scared the RNG away. Uh, MJ, did you predict this stream too? Let's predict what stream. What stream did you predict? Maybe you could, GG's. Can you play the Caro 45T? Potentially. Not actually a huge fan of the Caro, funnily enough. After, okay, my last experience on this map where I tried to help my team in Dunes and our Kroms just down the corner and lost all map control has like, has me permanently, um, has permanently caused trauma. I'm not going that way again. I'm just gonna sit in town because that's what the WZ does best. Let's see. Firstly, is anyone coming this way? That's the important piece of information that I need here. I thought that was destroyable cover. How silly of me, dude. We got WZTD over here. Oh, that shot really went to Narnia. That's fine, though. I can start put, pulling up for a crossfire on these fools now. Five hundred ricocheted, eh? What's the one to one B doing? Nice. So what bounced off me for five hundred? The VK, right? That'd have to be a VK, I think. Oh my, how low did that shot have to go? I was about to grief this dude with HE2. Hey there, buddy. Th nice, nice play against a tank with insane traverse speed, eh? Oh my, rat, WZ. You are a rat. 
Keep sitting and spawning. <laughs> to be fair, he can't move. I can't blame him. He has nowhere to go. Alright, let's see what 360 heat does to a VK's armor profile. Nice. I like how I'm literally just sitting in the middle of the map right now. Not a care in the world. It's kind of funny, actually. Oh, what do we got here? What is little what is what is what is our what is our fine young individual over here doing? Oh no, what is this fine young individual doing? Alright, I believe in the RNG. Oh yes! <laughs> like I've spent this whole game just sitting in a counter cap and somehow it's working out. That minute Matt Minarato just had a very unpleasant experience. Okay. Oh, there's the 402. Almost. I didn't have time to aim it in enough. Okay. I'm gonna have to start creating a bit more of a diversion on this side because my team might lose heavy side pretty soon if I'm not supporting them a little bit better. So let's see if there's anything I can do about this. Please don't pen those. Please don't pen those. Nice. Okay. I'll take this. The VK might actually out reload me. The VK has a pretty a pretty um a pretty short reload, all things considered. Oh my goodness. The VK just sat there and let himself get yeeted out of the battle. That's fine by me though. Okay. I accidentally reset my dispersion when I um <laughs> when I hit the corner when I made my tanks haul move slightly, so I wasn't able to snap it off immediately, which kinda sucks because I would have had at least the full damage on him. I guess that's GG. I'm not getting any more farm here. This dude's long dead before I get to him. Him and the Type 71 and the Chieftain are yellowing. Yeah, it's GG. Well, I mean, I guess that was a, no I guess that was a nuisance over there. <clears throat> kind of was just sitting back and sniping. Can even be as good as Fantas though? I don't know, Jet. You're pretty good. I wouldn't say that. Although, although you will find that, uh, live streaming can be a little bit more rat in terms of how well you play but I, I'm as a solo player you seem pretty consistent so I wouldn't say that I would I wouldn't I wouldn't undersell yourself all that much okay are, are we still are we still winning for the most part it's two and a half hours of WZ gameplay but I, I want my good game in it because Italian <laughs> it means <laughs> <laughs> Call him in a ratso. Ah, uh, yes. I was saying it means a very <laughs> silly, silly thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Love that show. Love that show. Mini go yikes. LOL. What a shot. I'd even donate one dollar. You're right. Donate one dollar for what? I don't think anyone could. Huh? I'm so confused. I'm not. I, I, I kind of try to pay attention to the chat, but I'm not really. Um. I was just getting frustrated trying to fast forward and realize it was a live stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Unless you, re unless, no, I do have it where you can basically move back and forward and live stream as much as you want, but you'll never be able to go past the present. Except I'm always in the future. I'm always 15, around 15 seconds in the future. That's right. What I'm saying right now is happening 15 or so seconds before you actually hear this. So I'm in the future. You guys are in the past. Unlucky. 5k okay. and T 2021 try. If you succeed, $100 zero O may RNG like my wallet. Okay. You got yourself a challenge. Just another player. Thank you, by the way, for the tip. Um, just another player is basically bribing me to do 5,000 damage in the T 2020. Well, not bribing me. I'm just, I'm very greedy. You see, I'm being greedy. So it's, it's, it's all me, really. Um, 5k damage in the T2020, big dono. But I, I, I'm low-key kind of want to make it happen because it'd be funny to do 5k damage in the T2020. But my gameplay right now is... I'm not even doing like 5k in a, in a broken tier 10 tank destroyer, so I don't know what to say about that. Other than I just big time suck. Oh, speaking of big time suck, this is gonna, this is gonna really hurt maybe. Oh, sure. Sure to 183 with its insanely reliable gun handling just casually hits that. I, I'm really sure about that, man. Yeah, nice, nice beam, dude. You know how awful the 183 is and how little of a shot he had on me there. I don't even know where he hit me. He must have hit like the very corner of my drive wheel. That is so rat. 
Is their team really playing for like triple caps right now? Well, that was a uh, that was a rip seat. This is this is uh this is me getting myself wrecked right now. Oh snap! That's a Type 71 coming in from my side now. And a chief up top. But the Type 71 is more of an issue. If I can maybe just barely get my tank hull down here. All right. Nice. Rat 71 is at bay, but the problem is once this 2 and 5B dies, which he will shortly, I'm the next victim. I'm very much the next victim. So, how do we back out from here without getting ourselves killed just yet? Can I stop getting cursed RG? Please and thank you. We can bait this dude. Oh, we do manage to bait him there. Nice. Now we can pull back into this ditch and get a little bit haul down. <clears throat> okay. Let's make this happen, boys. No! Of course, the rat chieftain's here too. Okay, okay. So chieftain and M60 are on me. This type's over here. What are our meds doing? Our full HP meds. Oh, they're they're dying to a type 70. Oh my gosh, our ice force not even trying to help kill the. Okay. You know what? We got a challenge to do, guys. Um, that was a silly play by me. Also, that 183's RNG, like good goodness, dude. He he barely had a, a millisecond to turn and shoot there because he was still trying to drive past the E3. My gosh, that was so unfortunate. All right. Um, where's this trash tank? Oh snap. What nation is the T2020, guys? Uh. Uh. It's a tier 8 heavy, right? Guys, what nation is the T2020? Uh, do we know what, is it Euro? Blitz Nation? Okay. Last, last, ch last chance here. Hybrid or Russian? Okay. So is it in shop right now, guys? Is it in shop right now? That's the important question. As long as it's not something you have to gamble for, I can, I could probably just purchase it. It shouldn't be an issue. Uh... One second. It does not appear to be in the shop right now. Does my press account actually not have a T2020? That is very peculiar. Okay. Uh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Beautiful wallpaper, by the way. I'm going to log into my account and see if my own account has one. Password wrong. Okay, let's see. Did I get a second try? Okay, I should have it. Let's try. Got it. it okay, so synchronized. We're good. Okay. Um. I'll do it for you. Just another player. I'll uh I'll do it for you. Um Yikes. I'll 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 I'll, I'll give it a try, okay? My my 30 day stats by the way are 100% tier 10. So rip, rip my tier 10 uh 30 day stats. But uh since you were very generous enough to donate and ask for this. Uh wait, where is it? I will, I will oblige. Okay, red equipment, looks like it. Um, this and this, double milk. Okay, yeah, probably don't need a speed boost on it. 
And also, because we are built different, let's put a camo on it. Um, what the heck is that? That'd be kind of a... Let's just put this one on. This one looks fine. Okay. Well, as requested by just another player, <laughs> my own account has a T2020. Uh, apparently, if I get 5k damage in it, nice dono, but <laughs> I'm only going to give it so many attempts. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I've never played this tank before because I've never had any desire to, because that's my account too. Um, all that I know is it absolutely sucks. That's it. I probably will get 1v1 by a Chimera and, and just get absolutely violated by that Chimera. Why do you play on two accounts? Uh, press account because I don't care about its statistics. It means I can play it with a lot less stress versus my own account where I'm actually do always have a standard that I try and uphold. And it's a lot harder for me to do commentary when I'm like overly focused on just like average damages and win rate and stuff like that. So I, it's more of a, uh, a de-stressor for me. Cause if I start, if I start caring a little bit too much about statistics, life gets really, really hectic. Live streams become a lot less fun. I mean, alrighty. Oh, oh, speaking of chimeras. The gun feels okay. Am I tripping or does the gun feel okay? Am I tripping? Because the gun actually feels pretty good. Its dispersion at least feels okay. Better than I expected. Way better than I expected, actually. Okay, what's going on with our spawn? Our spawn should be fine. I don't have to run away just yet. Yeah, our spawn's okay. I don't have to run away. Nice. Oh, well, I don't think there's enough HP in this battle for me to 5k, but... Alright, we should win at least, right? Huh, this tank doesn't feel too bad. We might get like 3k damage out of this if we're lucky, but there's not enough HP for 5k. Because you only have a thousand or so hit points on the, uh, the boar sig. So that's just not going to be enough, unfortunately. Hey, am I tripping or is this like a pretty good gun for a Soviet 122 in tier 8? Am, am I tripping or, or, or is, is this legit, guys? What do you think? Loki, I think the gun is pretty good. Yeah, sadly, there's no way for me to get 5k out of this battle. I'll have to get a tier 9 matchup to get 5k in it. That's gonna be memes. Okay. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. We'll just drop down here. Let's see if we can bait him down. No! Oh, of course, he pens heat through the spaced armor on the front of the, what, the front of the turret? Oh no. Uh, we almost got him there, though. They got mega buffed, did it? Loves better. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. 3400 damage is not too shabby. Okay. You know, maybe this tank isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Can we put a cool attachment on it? No, we can't. I found a gun okay at best. Dude, I was expecting like an IS-5 gun, okay? I was expecting it to be that bad. It, it feels better than I anticipated. Well, enhanced armor, uh, the front plate gets a lot of bounces, does it? Do I do I take your word? Like I said, I've never played this tank before. It's such HP. I'll be dropping the 1755 hit points, but it's worth a try. May as well. <laughs> Can we get the 5k? That's the real question, guys. Trashy tier 8 tank versus me love your streams man always will make my day to see you, you are streaming pick a killer 381 thank you very much for that I do appreciate it um wait, wait where was the old oh, look wait oh look the most broken tank at tier 10 right now mj hey yo did you guys tell me that my my chat thing is not updating as well Ah. Uh... 
Well, you should you should have told me that my chat wasn't working, or maybe you did and I didn't notice. Um, because that was a bit unfortunate. That was I didn't realize the chat stopped working like an hour ago. Dead chat bot. Uh, it should be good now. Lefant is cook. Let's see if that shows up. If that shows up, we're good. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to constantly refresh the catch. Okay, we're good. Okay. No. I guess the chat really didn't work. Hour ago. Oh my gosh. Finally noticed, like five times. Oh my goodness. I, I knew you probably mentioned something and I just didn't notice. Silly, silly of me. That's a Yag 88. And that is a tank sitting in the back of their spawn shooting at me. Go figure, what are the odds of that? Now, the problem with the AG-88 is that tank actually has pretty good DPM, so I gotta be careful around it. Okay. So we're gonna have to ignore that dude. I don't usually play factory here, but you can see my team is getting griefed from the other side of the map, so... I have to provide some assistance to them over here. Ah! Can't drive. Alright, gun. Don't betray me now. Don't betray me now. Okay, Dracula's over here. Dracula's about to get <laughs> basically gamed on. Um, 53 TP is also a bit of a problem that we have to deal with here soon, in just a moment's time. Mm -hmm. This is not looking good, guys. Not looking good. Still, maybe it's an opportunity to farm up damage. We've only done like two or three shots of damage, so that's the problem. Buddy, get safe, get safe. That's your best bet. Just get safe, my dudes. Uh, this is not looking good for us, guys. Now two versus everyone. Okay, well, the Zante is going to be a problem now. It's Jover. No. Um, yeah, I don't know what the heck my team is doing that game. Welcome to tier eight. I hate, I hate tier eight so much. Oh, it's such a rat tier. Uh, Gotta give it a few more tries, though. Uh, yeah. The, I mean, the tank's fine. I just wasn't in a good position there. Really wasn't in a good position. You need, you need somewhere where you can just kind of chill. Hold on, I think, in this tank. That wasn't it. Oh, chatbot didn't. LOL, isn't this a WZ stream? It, yeah, but look, it's been two hours and 46 minutes. I've been playing the WZ for two and a half hours. So if you want to see WZ gameplay, there's two and a half hours of me uh, struggling in it. <laughs> It broke like an hour ago. My goodness. Are you gonna return to uploading smaller readers or just keep uploading live streams? That depends on how busy I am in the future. For now, I want to try and live stream pretty frequently because I do think you get the most out of gameplay. Maybe not the most because I tend to be a little bit less intellectual when I'm live streaming versus um, quietly recording a video, but you still get most of it. Most of the experience. Also, gosh, my team wants to go left. No, this is so rat. Is there a tank you will refuse to play regardless of donation size? Uh, yes, T22 medium, on my account at least. That's because, um, I don't know if that's still the case. I was basically the only person on the NA server to get 4k average in the T22, and I sweated like crazy to get it, and it's something that I never want to lose, so that's a tank I've retired from my lineup of vehicles that I could play. What's with these OP rat Bizantes, by the way? Is tier 8 just full of Bizantes now, like, a uh, the most rat auto loader, auto reloading med. Look at that armor. That's ridiculous, man. All right. This tank has a decent reverse speed. It's 14 kilometers an hour. Okay, they are sending people to this middle area. Am I about to get swarmed though? Is the real question. Well, this is gonna hurt, guys. Of course there's a scorpion here, because why not? Oh, oh, that's even worse. That's a T-77. Okay, he bounced one shot. That's what matters. 
That's the second one too. Why does that tank's armor profile as well? No teammates help me. Do not leave your homie over here unassisted and, and alone. Uh, gun, gun elevation, gun elevation. Hello? Oh, I see the scorpion struggling with gun elevation as well. How was this take so much faster than mine? Ha, ah, the tunnel is crazy, man. 57 just doesn't even care. There's a Vindicator coming up behind him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get outmaneuvered, sir. Oh, I can't even HG his rear. Working his balancing department, releasing tanks like the T-77. And yet, they still haven't made this tank a goaded yet. Shaking my head. All right. Well, that was a fun experience. Um, Interesting. <laughs> Not even counting, uh, he can say no. Say no to what? Wait, wait, wait. That's fair enough. 4K is wild. <laughs> David didn't say about to tell him to do zero damage in it. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. It, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. The D22 is the one vehicle I, I'm never touching on my account. <laughs> do you know how stressed I was playing 160 games in that tank to get it? from my 30 like 800 hours that I had in it at 100 battles to 4k I had to sweat like crazy to get that um my t77 experience hmm I don't know about t77 man it doesn't seem like we're 5k in this tank I've got I got plenty of catnip for uh the stream now I'm just watching the attempt basically basically I 5k damage in this trash vehicle. Its gun's okay. I actually don't mind its gun, but its platform is pretty awful. Bro, I'm stressed to, uh, I'm stressed to, uh, I'm stressed to, to average 3k. Yeah, no, ju just another player. S same, same deal. Um, and, and here's the thing, is if I wasn't making content or streaming, I probably wouldn't care or even play pubs all that much anymore. Um, but for me, I have like this level of standard that I want to uphold on my account where, oh yeah, I'm not a complete garbage player. And so I try and at least have the statistics to match that on my account. Um, oh gosh. Really? Who the heck sits there, of all places? They have a platoon of smashers? Hey, yo. Oh, snap! Okay, that's better. That's a Caliban. Mm. This is not looking good for us already, guys. The start of this game has not been a very big brain for me. For me. My one ally is already dead, guys. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, wait. I have. I still have that dude in the back there. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Nice one, dude. Nice RNG there. The Caliban's RNG is insane, man. He didn't. Even, that tank. He didn't even aim that shell in there. Okay. I have literally two smashers in front of me. And there's nothing I can do about it right now. We just gotta hope our allies win the opposite side of the map, basically. Isn't this, isn't this fun, guys? Isn't this just a pure blast? The best experience in the world. <laughs> Not today, buddy. Not today. All right, love our damage dealt. Oh, I guess this is GG. What the heck is this thing's hatch? Um. Did I seriously just get heat pen twice to the top of the turret? Oh. My goodness. Okay. 
the good news is we're still alive for the time being. The bad news is I don't know for how much longer. Come poke it, poke it, poke it. Come on, poke it already, piggy. Do it. Alright, well, that was not very fun. At all. Oh yes, 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 just, 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 just ignore everyone. Yes, that's a good plan. It's a very solid plan, very solid plan. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> there was no rules. You didn't say it had to be pubs. No, I didn't. No, yo, you should grind the ice for y'all. No, I summon much better. Yeah, probably not the ice for nowadays. Oh gosh, dude. What am I going to do about my account stats when they start dropping <laughs> average damage? Oh, uh, this tank is pretty mid, actually. Let's quickly put Sand Control Mod on, counter only. I'm trying to get the longest, like, lasting game I can think of. What microphone do you use? I use an Elgato Wavelink 3. I actually really do like this microphone. It's pretty good. The microphone itself is pretty um, average, but Elgato's Wave, uh, the Elgato software, their Wavelink software, which, you know, you can download for free and you just plug in your mic and it works instantly, has so many features, so many inputs. It's great. It can control all of your audio inputs and, and outputs. Um, it has all the EQ settings already built into the software. So the microphone's fairly simple and basic. Does the job fine. It's pretty, you know, nothing too crazy. It's not like a nice condenser microphone or anything, but it's, uh, Elgato software is, what, is definitely what cooks. Also, I think this microphone looks great. Fantasy's brain. Wow, Fantasy's brain. You didn't take your idea? No, I saw the one about a game mode, but I mean, a game mode just feels like cheating. But then again, you didn't specify <laughs> T20 event for Warrior was so weird. Wait, did Wargaming have a T2020 video? Really? What, 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 what did Wargaming do with the T2020 video? I'm, I'm generally curious. I got the Smasher on the Xmas events. I played for a month. I kind of feel bad. I became what I hated. Dude, Smasher is so memes. No one will blame you for having fun memeing around in a Smasher. That's your decision. Alright, can we get our 5k, please? <laughs> oh snap, that's a Skoda. Never mind. It is a Skoda that is no longer feeling very good. That is an oh snap moment if I've ever seen one. Man, aren't you glad these tanks are just so balanced by Wargaming? Tanks like the Analeleta. Ah snap, there is also a problem behind me. There's going to be that Skoda pulling up around the corner soon. Team, can you all just move? Like, please. Oh my gosh, man. The Annihilator is such, is like the most rat tank in this game. I swear. Actually, I'm, I'm not going to peek it. I'm going to wait for our Annihilator to go through. Go, buddy. You can one clip him. Trust me, it's worth one clip him, one clip him. Nah, you've got to be something special to in any way think that was a smart play, dude. Holy smokes. I don't know if I can bait this dude at all. Nice, we should be able to play this Annihilator. Right, there we go. And then we should be able to use this dude as soft cover from the KV for now. I mean, hard cover. Uh, let's see what I can do about that. Hello, Mr. KV. Ah, snap. Ah, snap. We It's Jover. It's so Jover, guys. It's Jover. Oh, my. What are my allies? Dude, I give up. What, what, what am I watching here, dude? Our Annihilator just... Oh, gosh. Screw this. <laughs> I, I straight up never want to play this deck again. I'd rather play a IS-2SH or something. Stray sniping, lol. Uh, he's just an honorable man. Uh, I mean, generally, what you assumed when you sent that donation was pubs, right? You, you weren't you weren't really thinking about game modes, so I, I'd feel wrong trying to do it in any game mode. Um. 
One shot and somehow died. Two shots and died. One shot and died. This absolute massive brain player just got himself killed for no reason there. You know, we might have actually been able to win that if our Annihilator had just... I don't know. <laughs> uh, if our Annihilator had just killed their Annihilator, maybe? Instead of actually wasting his magazine on a full HP KV3 and then getting himself double hit out of the game. By the way, I, I'm literally going to sell this tank once I'm done trying this challenge. I have no use for it on my account. Hey, fellas. That is the stats. Can't lower. <laughs> Probably 6.8 million gold on his press account. Why would, why would he spend $20 on the T2020? Play game mode. Take take my other deal. What was your other deal? Wait, could you repeat it? What was the other deal? Wait. Have we just been losing in this tank too? No, uh, it's been it's been like 50-50. T2020 was a terrible year. The T2020 is also terrible. Coincidence? I think not. You know, Max, you got a point. The T2020 is as bad as the year T20 uh, uh year two, <laughs> 2020 was. It's horrible. I mean, it's not even that the tank's that bad. I I think the gun is good. I, I genuinely think the gun is 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 good on this tank. 5.5k in the WZ. I'll give the T2020 one more try. Nah, actually, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Goodbye. Never to be seen again. Yeah, we'll do the WZ. We'll do the WZ. I I, I can't be bothered. <laughs> That's rage selling, by the way. That was a rage sell. That wasn't that wasn't um that wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't me, uh... <laughs> that wasn't me selling it because I need the credits. That was me selling it because I just buys the vehicle. Well, this is not gonna be 5k. Um, if they're STRV and STB cook. Two tries? Wait, 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 did you say I have two tries to get 5.5k in the WZ? <laughs> Yes, I sent him to the Shadow Realm. I'm never going to get it back. I never want to see its face again. Be gone. Be gone like the, year uh, of the, like the year 2020. You belong in the past. The decrepit, crippling past. You, you have no future. You have no future in this game. You have no future at all. Be gone already. 2020. T2020. Shaking my head. That was the last tank we're getting made named after a year. We didn't get a T2021, a T2022, a T2023. Just a straight up T2020 and that was it. Hey, buddy. Okay. Let's cook in the VZ. Also, my uh, controls feel a little better on this account. That's huge. There's one thing I was noticing when I was on my press account is the controls are just a little bit off. Um, and it does throw me off quite frequently. Oh, nah, 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 that's just a scam. It's a scam. I've been scammed already, guys. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Of course. Oh my goodness. I hate my life. That was just a bot play by me. I didn't think the TVP was going to be there. That was so dumb. Holy smokes, dude. That was just silly of me. Bruh. What are all of our dudes doing in town then? They're just gonna let these men keep poking and yoloing oh, and through the open for free? Holy smokes. Rat TVPs. I hate TVPs still. Only rats play TVPs as well. Let's see. There was nowhere for me to back up to. It was extra it was extra scuffed for me. Alright. But it's not Jover yet. It's not Jover yet. The 5k is probably Jover, but the game's not. Nice. 1800 damage dealt so far. So this dude just shot. Trigger M60 sending it on him as well. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, we actually somehow recovered the game. <laughs> I thought our heavies were going to keep the mid at bay, so I went to make that push across the top on the um, 
that XM. That was a that was definitely a mistake on my part. That's for sure. My goodness, that hurt a lot. But hey, we won. We won the game. Ah, I must get my revenge on this uh, TVP here. Then my life will be complete. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, yeah, he's doing TVP autoloader syndrome things. I see. <laughs> I do miss medical collaboration for the WZ. Yes and no, because it, it doesn't really need it as much anymore because it uh, it got his gun handling buffed so much. Wait, he actually escaped. Oh my gosh, I thought he was dead. <laughs> do you see how much you've donated? Um, credit card. <laughs> the credit card is how you see. I can check my PayPal after. Uh, wow, I saw the top damage. Okay. Now I need to check. Did you say I only had two attempts to try and get 5k in this tank? Almost 10 years of this game. I wonder what they'll do on the, on the B-Day event. Good question. Two tries for $100 is fair. Okay, that's true. Go back and see how much I've donated already. Bro, y just another player, you've donated too much. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. But yes, you have you have gone crazy with the donations today. So I sincerely appreciate it. Um, why am I getting no member notifications right now? No, no one donated members, but I think it's just doing the monthly renewal. That's why. It's 4 p.m. So probably got gifted like uh, or had a membership. People start their memberships like um, a month ago at this time. All right, fast last chance. Let's get the streamer the luck. Yeah. Well, the problem is they don't have any, very many heavy tanks. So I'm a little a little skeptical about this battle. Just due to the lack of heavies, you know. Good start though. Nicking one of their TDs off the bat is always a W. Actually, no, they have two crons. Never mind. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think that Kron is having a very Poggers day. Well, that's a good start, right? That's a good start. That's a very good start, actually. That's the, that's the type of start we were looking for, man. Okay, there's a the of 4. We're going to have to be crazy aggro if we want damage here, I think. Oh, huge, 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 huge. Get that turn away, buddy. 900 damage there. Okay. I want a four stone in front of me somewhere. Still not even 4k damage, man. Not quite that 4k damage mark, which is what I really wanted. Okay, we're at 4k now. We're gonna have to be so aggressive to get this. They only have three players left and they're bleeding out like crazy. Come on, come on, come on. Let me at least get a kill on the 704 or something. Get, let me yoink that damage. Okay. No, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead before I can get to him, I think. Wait, wait. One more shot. One more shot, please. One more shot. Come on. Come on. No! Screw this game! No! Their team was too uh, stupid, E6 and 57. Y'all should have gone AFK. I hate this game. I literally was one shot away there. One shot away. One AP shell away from getting it. Yep. One shot away. I cooked up hardcore there. I showed them what was up. But my goodness, so, so sad. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> why? Why? Why did? Why did Raul Duke and Kaya's have to steal my damage. They both like did 2k or less as well. I was cooking so hard on that flat line. No. If only. If only. Maybe I should have shot this, the uh, the Yag first instead of the 704. I don't know. <laughs> but I was always being tossed as a microwave. It was a really good try. That was me at the crowd. Oh, rip. <laughs> rip. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kind of got bullied by a by me. I didn't know that was, I didn't know that's how it worked. <laughs> Goes to show how, how often I sell vehicles in account. Mission fail. We'll get them next time. We will get them next time. Okay, how are we ending this, guys? Maybe. 
I don't know if I want to really do 183 to end it. Um, just another player. Why don't you choose one more try if or $50? <laughs> oh, oh, one more try or $50. Um, dang. The logical part of me says that one more, one more, uh, they just take that, take the $50 offer, but. Or is that four? Was that four? Maybe that was four, not or. I think that was four. We'll try one more. I think I gotta get, uh, grind this tank. Yeah, it's a pretty good tank. Dang, that's a good offer. That is a good offer. That is a good offer. That looking at the T2020 funny. Yeah, screw the T2020. Uh, Fanis reads. Wait, reads nice? As, <laughs> as that? If you don't get it, $50 guaranteed. Oh. Oh, I see. But I gotta do it. I got. We, we gotta get the um. We we gotta we gotta ascend five thousand five hundred damage and move all the way over to seven thousand damage. Yes. Can I just keep grinding the five k? <laughs> Let's do the third times the charm. Didn't mean to snipe. Just recognized you. No, it's okay. I, I most of the time on the NA server, especially if I'm playing with same control mode on, I'm gonna swap out my thumb sleeve. For a less sweaty one, hopefully. So I Alright. We are we are locked and loaded. <laughs> Can I have the 50 dollars to for real? <laughs> oh no. They only have one heavy tank. Trying to get 5.5k damage when Her royal flatness. Hey, you can always get plastic surgery, okay? Fear not, it's not the end of the world. My flat friend. Man, this tank's gun handling feels really good so much. My main concern right now is going to be crosshairs on the right side. Okay, there's the Fosh. Oh, the Fosh is there. Hey, okay, is this Yo in a platoon? He is in a platoon with a 1-2-1. That's good to know. And that, they just got hit by what looks like to be one of the tank destroyers. I didn't realize I can just heat the entire front of your turret there, buddy. You can sit there and angle all you want. It's not going to make a huge difference in the long run, my dude. Nice. We got to keep the pressure up here. My concern, we know where the Fosh's positioning is. We know where the 268's position is. We are not sure where the Yag is. Okay, there's the Yag's positioning. Interesting. Oh, the 121 has a crossfire. So really counter pushing this is gonna be a bit, a bit awful. Considering how many crossfires they got here. Yeah, okay. So in retrospect, here's what we're gonna do instead. Actually, we might be able to hit the 268 at least. He might have a shot on me though. That one should have gone in, I think. Um, let's wait for our camera to reset. We have two meds on the flank, as well as a Fosh 155. So, we're going to have to relocate from here. Try and deal with our spawn a little bit. There's the Jaeger Roo. The Yeeter Roo. It's just over, guys. It's it, This game's just over at this point. I give up. I'm just gonna yellow in here, because why not? Yeah. Nice, nice special team. Re really, really special team we have there, dude. Really, I, I'm I'm quite impressed. <laughs> the meds did zero damage to the pat and or and basically the bat shot on that flank there. Oh my gosh! Of course, this is the team I get. They get a bunch of sweaty, sweaty, biggie sitting in spawn, and um, <clears throat> Fannis's wife. I'm 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 getting a divorce. I'm I'm getting a divorce. I I I, I am. 
just let the Fosh 4 foot have 1,000 damage. My gosh. That was a rip. Oh, well. Good try. Um, I don't want to end it on a bad game like that, though. But maybe same control mode on is the play. Holy. If I have an average experience of this game. Nah, that's pretty average for everyone. <laughs> Meanwhile, is your server in a nutshell? Yeah. I mean, playing 10 years of this game, the feeling being the same, frustration, basically. <laughs> Bro, why y'all cooking right now? <laughs> hungry for damage, nom nom nom. I wish I could say I was hungry for damage, nom nom nom, but I couldn't do anything there. My whole team was just dead. Like, why is a version 4 sitting in the back of spawn sniping? That is a, an aggressive tank destroyer. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Average Agent Experience. This is just your every game NA experience. All right, nah, I can't, I can't leave it off on a bad game like that in the WZ. We, we gotta get something better. I don't know if it's my equipment or just my controls being a little bit better on this account, but the tank feels way better when I'm playing it on this account than when I'm playing it on my press account. I have absolutely no clue why. I'll have to check my equipment and see. Oh my gosh, 704. I had to rush my shot because I knew that Obozo was going to just keep driving into me. It's so predictable. Otherwise, I would have sat there aiming it, but I knew because he was just like driving right on the rear of my vehicle what he would do if I wasn't careful enough. All right, 670 into him there. IS-8 with the most goaded NA experience of all time. So is going to keep me proxied. That's a problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why didn't anyone why didn't anyone say anything about this? Well you should have said something, you funny you funny grill. Oh gosh, no, he's actually cooking over there. Our bat chat's getting cooked by the grill. Um this is not gonna be a high damage game, I think. Hold up. Oh no no, bat chat, spot him up. No, oh, bat chat, you funny you funny little man. Okay. I guess I'm just not getting damaged this game. Oh my gosh. Yep, just missed the whole gray part and hit his mantlet. Please and thank you. <laughs> Using the 704 as a meat shield? Yes, I know. Rats of me, but a necessity all the same. Okay. I will get my revenge on this bad chat. I know the T30 has shots on me, but I can't be bothered right now. Oh! Well, that's just unlucky. That's actually the first time I've ever been abracted in that tank. Uh, GG Grill. Well, rip so much for having a better game there. <laughs> I thought the Grill pushed into our spawn more. Um, I must have got him confused with someone near the bad chat. That's actually just a meme. I, I can't even be angry about that. Oh. Oh my gosh, I've never been Amaract in this tank before. What is this garbage RNG? Never, not once. And the silly grill. Oh, the silly, the silly, silly rat in the grill of 15 is shooting heat. That's the only reason he got the rack, by the way, because the module damage from heat. Well, GG's. Every story I say, time set up, but fattest won't play. I got the question. <laughs> Yeah, miss chat. You I was one chat. more. Try, it was try one more try take. any tank and fifty dollars guaranteed. Let's redo it. Let's redo it. <laughs> Let's re yeah, we'll definitely redo it after that last game. Oh my gosh, dude! What are the odds? What are we averaging this tank? No, I got it. Thirty-nine hundred. Um, I'll take two seconds first, but I wait, bro. What are the? I'm gonna be fair. I have never seen a WZ113G ammo wrecked. Period. Ever. I've never even, like, had its Amarok damaged. Like, what was that girl's RNG there? But he also happened to be shooting heat. Oh my gosh. I hate the server, dude. You can't play single trouble on. The queues are just way too long. The problem with that is... Uh, everyone's gonna stream snipe in if I... am sitting in queue for a super long time. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Just another player. Uh... Yeah... This is the problem with the NA server, man. I actually hate playing on this server. I wish I could be on the EU server. 
but um the ping isn't great over over on the EU server so I wouldn't really I wouldn't really get better games <laughs> just by trying to just give away <laughs> yes no I actually I genuinely regardless of donuts or not I generally just need a good game to end off in the WZ because that last game was not it man like my goodness three shots in then I get racked I can tell I'm super tired because like my brain has gotten out of like the whole uh how to play logically mindset and basically to just push for damage mindset which after three hours of playing is understandable it's not being a record for evidence it wz rack possible why is the grill shooting heat at the side of a wz td like it, it his his logic is doesn't even make sense like he's losing so much alpha by that but no he just so happens to get the high module damage off of it I guarantee he wasn't going for a rack there, because I've never seen one ammo racked, and I doubt he's ever seen one ammo racked. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, something sniping from their spawn with... Oh my... Holy... Their whole team is just sitting here sniping. Look at this. Look what their whole team is doing, dude. What is my team doing? Nah. Where are my heavies at? Why haven't they pushed the 62 way out? There's so much I don't understand about this battle. <laughs> okay, I should be safe. I'm unspotted for now. Nice. The C5 will have to pu pull down then. So they have like a TVP or something sniping back there. A Sheridan or something back there. No, a Sheridan isn't what hit me. Was that a Yag Tiger Tungsten? Did the Yag Tiger pop Tungsten just to tunnel me there? looks like it it wasn't the 183 how am how am i in a tank destroyer the only one scouting this side of the map okay guarantee this 183 is gonna give me a shot here in just a moment so let's take it 690 alpha damage by the way have i rolled even close to 690 once i don't think so Well, our spawn is getting kind of griefed here. This is a bit unfortunate. <laughs> oh, there's the Jaeger room. Get it before. Get him. Just load up a heat, buddy. Just like that. Problem solved. Nice. Who sits there in a Yag, though? That's the real question. Okay. Oh my gosh, our E3. Bless his soul. The good news is I can't get spotted from back here. Unless I poke over and give the Yag, the Yag, uh, Yag Tiger free spot on me. <clears throat> Just that. This is the one negative aspect of this vehicle. I probably should ignore the Yag for now. Try to help my teammates on the hill. Nice. 750. Okay. Does he know the lore? Does he know the lore of this building here? He might or he might not. We'll see. Nice, nice, nice. I can HM maybe. Oh, snap. That's not good. Nice. He got nuked at least. Oh, he got mega nuked. Okay. Oh, he got u uber nuked. Nice. That's huge for me. All right. All right. All right. All right. Pre aim fire. Ah. Okay. We just might win after all. Was it a good game? Not really. Do we have a chance of winning? Yes. Or are we going to try and take that chance of winning? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Need to got Kaffir in my nose. Nice, dudes. Good stuff. Ah, yeah. This is why I prefer the WC of the 268. So, Loki. The 268 is genuinely terrible at sniping. It's, it, it, even though its gun handling is, like, better than it used to be a little bit. But it's genuinely just so bad at sniping. Nice. Good work, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. What do we do for up here? 
Do you think the Yag pushed up at all? Maybe. Oh. I'll take that. <laughs> 268 is definitely a lot better at like medium to close like uh, pop range. It's bad at sniping. We from we frown on stream sniping pluses. Tick tick tick. <laughs> okay, well one last try at the WZ because my gosh, that last game was not it. Uh, be dummy aggro in the 268 next game. Yeah, aggro 268 is generally better. Like holy, my pen ratio a we won. Wow, that was just uh, amazing. Just oh yeah, the d half of that dude's damage was from one heat shell. Nice meme, dude. Or we're at least winning in tier 10, right? Well, we lost one game in the WC, but for the most part. All right. 268 is a go, but at mid range, not long range. LXD, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Long range, 268 ain't cutting it. But uh, mid, me, medium, close range, its gun is actually pretty decent, but, uh, it, you know, distance. <clears throat> not fun. Yeah, correctly, there's a Middle Eastern server, is there? What's your opinion on the 121B? I think it's a pretty solid vehicle. Personally, I wouldn't spend too much to get it as there's a lot of other great tier 10 meds you can play, but I like it. I think I remember getting like 3,800 average in the tank when I played it back before we got all the 10.3 changes and it's better since 10.3. So uh, I think it's good, but you could probably play a 62A for a similar experience and for free. So that's that's my take at least. Mm-hmm. We hit those. Oh, he did not have a good experience. Oh, he did. Oh, he oh he needs some milk. Badly. Buddy is not vibing after that violation there. Oh, I thought the 268 might try flanking. Oh, our E5 decided he didn't want to play anymore. That's that's cool, I guess, right? See, this gun works pretty okay. <laughs> All right, how's our flank doing? I think our flank's chilling. We should be fine. In case the 268 speaking, we'll take a blind shot. Probably not, but just as a precaution. Yo, good stuff, ho -ree. You do You're cooking up over there, laddie. I approve. We have 1700 assists somehow. I don't know how I've. Oh, it's because I'm spotting the type every time he pokes. And the 2 and 5B. I'll just HG his, his drive wheel there. Oh, there's the 113G. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh. How funny it would be if we had hit that hat shot. Ah snap, there's the there's the Kran wagon. I didn't think the Kran wagon was pushing up there. How silly of the Kran. Oh my gosh. Dude, our TDs are cooking up a storm this game. Oh my goodness. Wait, where's the Minotaro at? Oh, there he is. Sorry, it's not a Minotaro. It's a Minerato. I must always, I must always stand corrected. Hello, WZ. Oh, sure. Sure, you don't aim. Oh, huh? Yeah, he doesn't aim and he hits that. Basically, barely off of my mantlet here. But of course, uh, my, my fully aimed and shot misses. I see how it'd be. Frog, you gonna go, dude? You have full HP. I'll take it, I guess. Oh my gosh. RGB wild today. Yeah, it's not been too bad. Wild and TD's wild and yeah. 
Oh my gosh, that dude got so lucky. Ew, only 3k damage. Our Hori did fine, but like he was just sitting there farming the like the the Kron and the Minotaur for free the whole time. I don't know how they weren't like yeeting the whole read there. Uh rip rip this dude <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. At least we we got a decent W. Uh let's see. What what am I gonna do to end off the stream though? What would be a fun tank to end off the stream on? I kind of want to play a some kind of medium, maybe. Hmm. Not the ones from B. At all. Uh, let's see. 5A. U. I haven't had the best runs in the Leo recently. No, it's the pattern. I love my pattern. I was the opposing WZ. Yeah, do you slap me hard there, Brad? Is hey, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, your team was the best there. My goodness, dude, that shot missed my man, the top of my mantlet by a millimeter. Could not carry that with a uh, savage attack on bedside. <laughs> yeah, please do one of the fifty of it's so fun. Please remind remind bro that he's on his main. I know I'm on my main. That's why I I'm not gonna play any more TDs. I mean I'm not too concerned about it. I'm more concerned about just keeping my tanks with high stats with high stats. I actually am winning for the most part. Uh, 71, 71. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Just another player. Since I failed your your um, your challenge, at least uh, give me a tank recommendation before we leave off today. Because I've been streaming for three and a half hours. Wow, that actually went by pretty fast. Also, this map, big suck. This map, big, big suck for this spawn. We'll see if there's anything we can do to win here. Maybe I can play a sweaty game and it'll actually go well. Also, Wargaming, why did you give this tank um, 8 degrees of gun depression while the M60 still has 10? I need, to, I need answers right now. Alright. Quick shot, just in case. Oh well, stream was an absolute slap. Aww. Maybe I'll stream snipe next time too. JK, JK. <laughs> Just another player. Thank you so much for the donation. Really do appreciate it and uh, the support and everything today. Um, you've been you've been you've been a, you've been a real one for sure. Um, and thank you for the really. So the T ninety five spotted me, or did someone else spot me? Also, this map is this map is so bad. This is why uh, this is one of my least favorite maps in the game at the moment. Is because it's. It's a hundred percent one spot one-sided biased. Like it, the the bias on the on the map is crazy. Like one side does well, and there's absolutely nothing you can do if you get the bad spawn, basically. Uh, other than sit tight and hope that your allies can clear out the enemy spawn faster than your spawn gets cleared out. So let's see if we can do that today. All right, there's a 907. I'm in a decent spot. Oh, Patton, yes, Patton has, uh, my opinion, Patton's pretty underrated. Um, I, I know, I know the M60 is just generally speaking better, but Loki, my beloved Patton pr cooks pretty hard too, you know? It does cook pretty hard. You just need to know how to cook it. Alright. Now, I am one versus everyone over here, so this is just GG, but I think I did the best I could from this scenario. Maybe I can get some support from an ally or two. Heart, heart, heart F to doubt, though. Hard doubt. Hard doubt. My allies are worthless. Yep. Dude, this is why this map is so garbage. It's so bad. The fact that they can all go haul down through here, through this entire middle section of the map for free, and you can do nothing to counter it. So you get stuck in a little ditch in your spawn. You can't even push over the encounter cap because you get crossed right out from there. Um, it's just terrible map design. When Wargaming, um, <clears throat> when Wargaming rebalanced vineyards, they made it a hundred times worse than it ever was before. And I'm still salty at them for doing that. I, I forgot how bad the map was because it was cycled out for half a year. But, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Every time I play on it, it, it you just know which side's going to win. That That's the hard thing about that map. It's like, I kind of just called it right off the bat. I'm like, oh uh, yeah, that's, it's probably not going to work out for us because we have the bad spawn. And that turns out to be the case. Not really a whole lot I could do there in that scenario. I tried to cover my allies the best I could, but uh, our team was busy yellowing their spawn. 
which unfortunately they weren't fast enough to kill. Maybe I should have rotated out and done the same, but oh well. I kind of thought my allies might stay alive long enough. We actually won? No way! How did they throw? Ah, oh, I gotta give the pad a better game than that. Hey, that was X5 for the Hey, that was uh X5 for the Vaz. Oh my goodness, man. How did we win that? Wait, okay, let me think. Kara was low HP. 907 probably yoloed into a bad position. Yeah, the 907 gave up the high ground when he yoloed for me. Same with the E50M. So I guess maybe they both got stuck in a trash position. That's funny. Anyways, that wasn't a showcase of my beloved Patton. Which has been kind of my go-to, one of my go-to win tanks. I think, last I checked, in the Patton, I'm averaging somewhere between 80 and 90% solo win rate in it. So I've been enjoying the M48 a lot. My, my, just my big complaint is why the heck Wargaming had to take a degree of gun depression off of the front and like minus five over the rear. Because it actually has like zero gun depression over the rear and it used to have like seven or eight. And that means when you're running away in the pattern, you can't hit those shots on the move and it's just kind of annoying. Or if you're trying to circle something and you have to shoot behind you for a moment. I, I do wish Wargaming had at least left the gun depression the same when they gave it PBR. Because... Once again, in my opinion, there is absolutely no reason that an M60 should have 10 degrees of gun depression while this tank is running around with 8. It just doesn't seem right to me. Okay, we're not going to peek that. That's a lot of TDs back there. Not really vibing with that. The STRV, though, he can he can totally be my guest. Let's see. Quick shot into the Conway. Here. Yeah, I'm sure you really aimed that one in, brother. <laughs> Buddy hitting those insane shots. Come progetto. Oh, of course, the super bunker is still here. Nice. Oh my gosh, I had to rush my shot because this piggy was about to block it. Alright, there we go. Get him. I almost had to get it myself. Oh my goodness. The uh, reaction time there was not goaded. Okay, where do you think this grill's at? It's 50B still here. Okay, take that. We also have a Gorilla 15 up top over on this side of the map here. Nice. Good stuff, brothers. That was a low roll and a half, if I've ever seen one. Hello, Mr. 50B. Heck yeah, brother. Good old M48 pan things. <laughs> now this man's can, um, of course the mouse is gonna focus attention on me though, or not. Ay ay ay, their whole team is dead. Oh, what is that? No, nonsense. Oh my goodness. Rat mouse, very rat. I should have just gone for the TI too. Uh, no farm, bro. Their team is all just sitting in spot. Like, we're getting the W's, but ay ay ay. E50 up for goaded match. Uh, here's the thing. This may come as a shocker to people. Yeah, that wasn't really a cooking game. I'm not a huge fan of the E50M. I, I genuinely am not. I've never really played it all that much. Um, oh, yeah. One second. I can... Uh, uh, <laughs> just another player. Do you want to know how much you donated today? Just a general uh, question, because I can look that up for you if you're interested. Do let me know. <sighs> okay. HRF missing two shots in a row. Dude, straight up. That was garbage. Holy, my team's not going this way. Okay, we're going town side then. Yeah, generally, I'm just not a huge E50M fan player, but it, it's a good tank. Um, it's gun for me is what kind of blows now. I remember when the E50M used to have a really good gun, but now it just feels like its gun is kind of uh, 
The tank is pretty fast. Now it feels like the gun's kind of just lacking in something. Uh, and that is, that's kind of what deters me from playing it now as, as often. I mean, it's lacking a little bit of alpha, but I think it's dispersion on the move is also pretty poor. You gotta be careful not to overpoke this. Oh, interesting. Okay. So there's their 1A3. There's their E100. Yeah, you see that? The entire flat side of an E100's turret, and what do we hit? We hit his, um, we hit his, his tracks there. And the tank can't even side scrape to save its life, really, let's be honest. I mean, it can, but you have to keep, like, an almost perfectly flat angle. It's just, it's kind of, it's kind of pointless. Once again, aiming for that A100's lower plate, and where does it go? Anywhere but the lower plate. <laughs> I don't know. I just think D50M's gun is kind of an L nowadays, personally. And everyone just spams HE at the tank, so its armor profile wasn't even, like, all that big. Let's see. There we go. Quick snapshot there. Yeah, look at that dispersion. It's really bad. Oh, gosh. I, yeah, I am not a fan of the 50 ms gun, period. I think it's guns low-key kind of garbage. Like, compared to a Patton? Compared to the pad, the pan's gun handling is better. The pan has more frontal gun depression, still. So, personal hot take for the day. But that's because, once again, the E15 used to have a super, super accurate gun, but Wargaming kind of rebalanced it. They lessened its alpha and worsened its accuracy to give it more armor. For me, I'm like, yeah, it has armor, so what? I'm not a huge fan of tanks to rely more on armor than the actual capabilities of their gun and mobility. So I felt that I was that was a very poor balance change by Wargaming there for the 50M. But we're chilling now. Um, did my gun really just get blocked by that dude's turret? This one, this one, if he's running grabber, he's going to struggle to pen me anywhere. I guess this is the good part about the 50M, right? It's, it's for these point blank shots. <laughs> Find the E50M kind of boring to play. Yeah. MS1 is better. Go to MS1. Subscribe and the E50M is overrated. Yeah. Yeah. The E50M side scrape is still pretty good. But man, I just find it to be such a waste to just be sitting there trying to set up a side scrape in your med when most of the time you could just flex around the map and that would just be way better in my opinion. <laughs> Actually, if I was to choose a German med that had armor, I would probably play to keep KPZ50T any day. This one is, is good. Even if it's fun as hell. Like I said... Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the E50M. Uh, yeah, yeah, my, you're, my pleasure. You're welcome. Uh, I don't mind playing it for you, but uh, I still think it's uh, I still think it's a good tank. But I'm just not a huge fan of its playstyle, and I, I find its gun to be a little bit annoying. Mostly because I remember the old the old E50M's gun, which was really, really nice and consistent, reliable, accurate. Um, you know, it wasn't the highest DPM, but it just worked really well. This one is, like, a little bit less so. This, this is definitely the, the tank I choose to play more often than the E50M. KPZ-50T, which is still one of my favorite medium tanks. It's not perfect. It has very poor penetration. Um, its gun handling isn't much better, but at least this one has, like, 3,700 DPM to compensate for that. Right? So that's a huge difference. Um... If I get yellow by E50M, I'm toast because I'm running Rammer the tank right now. Just, just, just for your information. So let's just hope I don't get yellowed by E50M right now, or else I am thoroughly toast. I need to figure out what the heck is going on this game. Probably gonna pull out from here. I don't like how this is how this is un unfolding this battle so far. What the heck? I have seven doing there. All right, 340 damage to die. Seven there. I have seven's just kind of sitting there. And this tank has really good armor, so you can actually get away with, with some rat peaks. All 
And also it has tungsten. Tungsten being a huge, huge plus. Oh, sure, you pen that, dude. Sure. Yeah. What is this? What is this very... I don't understand these these players. I legitimately can't comprehend mentally what they're thinking. <laughs> In what world does that make any logical sense, what he just did there? I need to know. There we go. Let's help our Vickers out a little bit here. Nice. Man, I wasted my tungsten too. I was going to yeet the 100, but then he just got yeeted back way harder than I could ever yeet him. Oh, yes. DPM goes brr. Come here. Give me that to damages. Nice try, buddy. Nice. The Egg Tiger's gonna create a bit of a diversion here. So I gotta watch out for those TDs. Woo! Hitting those snapshots. You know, Loki, this tank doesn't have the snappiest gun. It does do the job pretty well, for the most part. Oh, that's just unlucky. That is very much just unlucky. Where did he pen? Uh, what? Where? Oh, there's like a little flat part on the turret that he penned, I guess. Come on, refresh stream. Rip, we just lost all of our viewers. Uh... I was having a good game too. It, it threw me off. It is almost four hours. We may as well go to four hours, right? <laughs> While we're at it. Anyways, yeah, well, uh, what I was saying about the KPZ being a great tank, uh, yes. Goodness. My computer does this sometimes, and I'm genuinely concerned about the health of my computer. Basically, the whole thing just hard shuts off. Hard shuts off completely. And then my screen just goes full matrix level glitch mode with a little frowny face in the upper left corner saying, oh snap, something happened. And then my whole computer has to restart. Um, it's not the first time it's done this while I've been trying to stream. And it sometimes does this at random for no reason. I have no, I have no clue why. I really have no clue why. Um, sometimes my computer just boots itself off completely and it glitches out. I don't know why. And, um... I kind of need to figure that out because I feel like it's not good for the computer to do that. It's like, basically, it's almost like you just unplug the power from it. It just insta-dies. <laughs> I thought it was me, LOL. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> I just heard my audio go out and I was like, dang, I think I know what's happening. Uh, but anyways, we cooked up. In, let, let, let's end it in the Leo game. Let's end it with the Leo game now. 12-hour stream. Still going, I guess. Back to 250 viewers. Yes, thank you very much, everyone that came back. Let's watch your likes for at it. Ah, yes, my, uh, my favorite map of the game. Lovely. We have the good spawn. This should be an easy win, I think. Maybe, possibly, very likely. <laughs> Later, God bless you. Thank you. Still kick it, yeah. Well, my last game got ruined halfway through, uh, last game. So we got a... I'm at a 36-ounce water bottle. is empty already, or 32 ounces. <laughs> Check for Bobby can't uh, unplugging you. Maybe Bobby is the one doing it. Where's Bobby? Bobby's sleeping like under my comforters right now. So there's no way she could be at fault. She has no access to any cables. <laughs> she could not be responsible for this. Anyways, time to get um, time to get funky with the Leo. Alrighty. Not for nothing is this one of my favorite tanks in the game. <laughs> Another shot. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Welcome to World of Grill of uh, Leo One Gun Handling, which never forsakes me. Oh my gosh. I almost got myself stuck on the edge of that corner there. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have a perma tract? Come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't prepare. 
Nice, nice, nice. Keep that. Keep the pressure. Keep the pressure, my friends. Yes. Very good. Very good. Pressure. Pressure. <laughs> These TDs are getting wrecked. They're genuinely just getting wrecked right now. I feel. I almost feel bad for them, but I don't, cause you know, they could be nuking me right now instead, which would be a lot less fortunate for me. All right, track shot. Probably has a repair kit. I would. I would assume. Go oh, watch, 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 watch. Track shot again. No repairs, I bet, huh? Let's we'll see how. Let's we'll see how good this Yag's repair speed is. Not very good. There's all that assist damage for me. Man, I love me my Leo one. Yeah, that was just a bad shooting. That was just bad shooting there, son. Oh, really, Mr. E5? Is that so, Mr. E5? Thank you very much for that talk. Thank you very much for your, uh, your experience. Mr. E5, sir. Sir. Maybe you should consider the fact that there was a massive crossfire on the other end of, uh, on the other end of this map. Mostly I'm concerned about the TBP. Once I know what that TBP is up to, I'm going to be fine. One thing I also, when the Leo got rebalanced, I lost another degree of gun depression, which kind of ripped, so it's at, what, 8 now instead of 9. Kind of a rip. Uh, but it's still solid. Okay, oh, there's the TBP. Alright, sir. Into the oven you go. Never mind. Ah, you're still going into the oven. <laughs> you're, you're still, we're still gonna make a great cake out of you so far. Yes, sir. Five thousand two hundred damage dealt already. He's dead. Good mission accomplished. Um, the only scary part is that TBP that could be yellowing. Who knows where right now? All right. Where's the TVP at? Oh, there he is. Come on, poke me, buddy. I know you want that damage. Buddy, you're about to get capped out. You don't have a choice here. You you legitimately do not have a choice here. Poke it. Do you want to lose the cap? I guess he wants to lose the cap, guys. Because he just doesn't care. Yoink! Yoink! <laughs> uh, there we go. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That's that's the good game I wanted. That is the uh, the good game I think I wanted. That should be six thousand two hundred damage in the Leo Ace Tanker. Mwah. I love me my good meds. My Leo one. My STB one. Oh, my team was bad. I see. They were really bad. Zeal Dozer here in the T22 pulled out about 4k damage. Good job to you. We also had, um, Dist, I'm just gonna call Dist here in the grill, also doing 2200, which is not the greatest, but better. Both teams had a lot of really bad players. They had three zeros, we had two zeros and two two shots, basically. Um, there we go. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We do have a we have a replay, right? Oh yeah. Basically, uh, this was me in the show the other day. This was a really funny game. We'll just show it to you real quick. It's a pretty, it's a pretty funny, good, uh, pretty good game. So going for them early spotting, you know, like an absolute giga chad. And um, yeah, hit a nice shot there. Now if you pause and look around, look at this. Look at this. VKs, two VKs in spawn, two fifty four, two six eight in spawn, e four in spawn. Super Concord just going up top. I had like zero support, so I'm like, nah, screw this, man. I'm getting out of here. So I decided to pull all the way back. Uh, the 54 does wake up. Basically, I waste a whole bunch of time here trying to snipe his, his M60's hatch, which just doesn't work. So I'm like, yeah, this sucks. Uh, maybe I can help out our T124 here. Yeah, I was like, okay, we can help out our E4 Super Conqueror. They, they, they should be chilling up there. I was like, oh, 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 dang, there's a mouse there. But first, we gotta shoot the Yag Tiger because, you know, the nasty Yag Tiger. It's a bit of a low roll. Uh, moving on, we try another one. This one ricochets. Yeah, that one hits his drive wheel and doesn't pen. Then I'm like, oh no, we're actually like, um, kind of pushing on the right side. Let's go and help them. But first, my damage instincts were like, gotta farm the mouse. So we gotta farm the mouse. And then 
And then after that, I decided to help send it on the medium side, but watch closely. That 2v2 there, okay? Just pay attention to that 2v2. We get a nice shot onto the KPZ here. So that's that's lovely stuff. And uh, we're gonna continue our kind of onward pressure. At this point, I'm like, okay, probably the best chance is for me to kill this team with 25. I don't want to bleed out too much here, but I'm kind of gonna just send it. So get a nice H into this E5. Like, cool. E5 should be dead because he has two VKs on him. Nope, nope. Our, our VK90 decides to just give up on life and uh, go the opposite direction. So I end up having to pick up the kill there, which is fine by me in the end. Uh, and then it's us, a mouse, a KPZ. I'm like, ah, oh, shucks. This is looking really close. What are, what are we going to do about this? And uh, we, 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 I decided to trade one with a mouse. It's just a replay lagging. It looked, that shot was not that sus IRL, trust me. Uh, but I decided I'd, I'd start dealing with their more dangerous vehicle here. Um, and then rotate around long the long way. So, guy that's shown here, we see the mouse is rotating in. Also, pay attention to the fact that our E4 and Super Conqueror still have not killed either of the tanks on that flank. Or no, they killed the E4, but they somehow left the 704 alive. KPZ is going to free farm our VK here. I'm going to leave him to face hug their mouse and intend to instead focus on distracting their KPZ from been basically eating our team. Could have shot HG here, but oh, actually no, AP was the wise decision. That puts me at 5,000 damage for this game. So we still cook it up a little bit. I'm like, oh, come on, VK, please. Pen one shot. Our Chad with VK pens his one shell, which is what I needed. Pick it up a kill there. Uh, but I think he does get taken out eventually. Oh, no, no, actually, we both kill this E4 as well. Big brain, right? Right? We both killed that 704 here. Yeah, this VK actually did okay late game. He did okay late game. He stayed alive a very long time. So now, because we know where the Yag Tiger's position is, I decided to cross all the way around the long way. That way, I don't get spotted, because, you know, unideal. There is an um, app called what crash that will diagnose those crashes you were talking about. I would bet that it's a driver. Probably GRFX card. GL. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, Tricky, for the donation. Um, okay, we're still farming damage on the Yag Tiger. I guess res I guess my computer restarting means my actual my my original donation um, my original donation bot is working. So they both just went off at the same time. Sorry about the echo there. Uh, thank you very much for the donation, Tricky. But yeah, there's an app called Hol Who Crashed. We'll just diagnose the crashes you were talking about. I bet that is the driver probably. G GRFX card. Good luck. Thank you very much. Do appreciate that information. I'll have to look into it for sure because I don't like it when that happens. All right. Um. Yeah. Basically, it's just chasing around the KPZ here. Picked up a kill on him. Seven thousand damage. You know, chill games, stuff like that. You still in there, Bobby? You still there, Bobby? Bobby's <laughs> oh, still under the bed. Is that an account for the shirt in? It is. I don't know. It's, it's currently just a pop-up offer. I don't know if it's still a pop-up offer. It was like a last month. Uh, so yeah, 7,000 damage gave me the shirt in. Me and the VK and the Super Con... I guess the Super Conqueror did most of the cooking on the flank. It looks like our E4 needed one shot before dying. But um, basically, there was three players that did about 3,000 damage or more. And then everyone else did 500 or less. Uh, so my team was not very, very poggers there. Um... But hey, we, we had a good time. We, we, that was a good game. I'm glad I finally got to show that to you after chasing Leo. Also, like, I want to show you Bobby. She's emerging. She is emerging. Look at her. Look at her emerging from under the covers. Hey, Bobby, did you sleep well? Come here. Nope. Nope, you didn't sleep. Come here. Come here. Come say hi to the stream, Bobby. Come say hello to the stream. Bobby. Come here. Yeah, come on. Yeah, there we go. There's the bobbers. <laughs> so we get a little bit of Bobby action before the stream's over. And uh, now she is saying hello to the camera. Hi. Come here. Come here. Come on. Stop being such a tricky little kitten. Oh, oh, now she's stepping all over my keyboard. <laughs> come say hi. You funny kitty. Aw. Well, there you go. There's your... Gosh, my computer mod. Oh, my camera looks all blurry. Once again, my key light is still broken. So the lighting is really bad. That's why my camera quality looks terrible right now. I'm sorry about that. Um, but here, little, little barbers. Little barbers says a quick hello before the stream ends. I think that's good. Ain't that right, Bobby? Ain't that right, Bobby and catnip? Yes. Yes. We, we, uh, we definitely got to get Bobby her catnip later. <laughs> she will be crazy for a while, but it's worth. Hi. You know, she was sleeping there, like, the whole stream, basically. After the first, maybe, uh, 30 minutes or so. And now she's off to wander off onto, uh, do bigger and better things. So. 
Thank you very much, everybody, for dropping by today's stream. Great to have you here, as always. Do appreciate all the support. Everyone who liked it, uh, liked the stream, who just showed up to watch, were commenting, and the mods, and, of course, uh, all the incredible donations today, especially just another player. Thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate that, all the support and everything. Bobby G, I agree. Um, uh, but, yeah, WZ, pretty good. I didn't play it all that well today, I would say. I definitely could have played it a lot better for for a good portion of those games, so I wouldn't reflect too heavily based on my performance. But, I mean, you definitely saw what the tank does really well. Uh, and as long as you have a fairly reliable team, you can definitely cook up really well in that tank. So I like the WZ. It's still one of my go-to play uh, tier 10 tank destroyers to play right now. And uh, when I'm sweating, not on stream, I generally do pretty well in it. And so, yeah, definitely do consider giving the WZ a try. It's it's definitely better than a Fosh. Well, that's for sure. So maybe some of y'all who are playing the Fosh over the WZ should give the WZ a try. Uh, make it not the least popular tier 10 TD for the tech trees. And um, yeah, hopefully everyone has a great start to their week. I think I'm going to call quits there. We have gone for exactly four hours. So that's cool. And uh, at this point... <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty tired, so I'm probably going to quit there. Thank you very much, everyone, again. You take care. Have a great rest of your night, and peace.